1964. Yep. Minus yep. 1964. Yep. Well, that, that's easy. It has 40. 40? Yep. Exhibit A, Dove Allahan, 21st birthday party. Mm, 1985. 21 <laughs> in 1985. 1985 <laughs> minus 21 equals, um... That's not me! 1964. 1964 from 2004 equals, according to your maths, 40. So why tell me you're 39? You've stolen a whole year of your life from me, not to mention a significant birthday. <laughs> that's not me! What do you mean, stolen? So to make up for the next year, yeah. every minute I spend with you has to be double as good. Starting now. Yeah, but that's... So what is it? Hmm? <laughs> it's an appointment for what? A health check. Sure, what do I need a health check? <clears throat> is it because you found out I was like a 40? I've got one too. Oh, right, so you're wanting me to have a check up to make sure I haven't passed my sell by date. <laughs> no. Uh, what, you don't want to commit until you find out the goods aren't 40? I want us to have a long and healthy life together. Oh, you're just going to have to chance it, dear. Please. No. To show we want to be around for each other? No. I booked it because I love you. Give an hour of your life to this. And when you get back, I'll give an hour of mine to anything you'd like to do, deal. Anything? Yeah, come on, what are you waiting for? Hi, who's your friend? Don't ask. Uh, can I have a white wine here, please, Dave? Oi, Dave! Yeah! What a bobby dazzler! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good job not taking my blood pressure now. So you had your medical then? Mm -hmm. And what did they test? Oh, everything set my patients and then they sent in the clown. And was everything okay? Well, there's a couple of results I have to wait for, but if the doctor was a policeman, then he'd arrest me for wasting his time. I'm fit as a fiddle. Good. And you? Fitter. Ah, <laughs> so you did go, because it looks more like you've been shopping. Well, of course I went. Mm -hmm. And so did I. And you said that I could have an hour of anything if I did, do you remember? Mm. Mm -hmm. Take a look in the bag. <sighs> shopping. Mm, no. Nope. That's what I was wearing before I went for the medical. I'm completely naked underneath this coat. How's your blood pressure now? Let's go. Oh, I think I'd rather have a drink. Mm. Bring them over. There's a good boy. Two pound twenty, please, Dev. Dev. Dave. Get you. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Very switch. Hi. <sighs> it's good. Where are you off to looking like that? Well, I've got a date with your new boss, if you must know. Have you now? Is he not here yet? Oh, should he be? Oh, no, I'm early. I hope he doesn't let you down. He was working late tonight, though, wasn't he? Um, yeah, he, he said he had a lot on. Yeah, well, the lot he's got on is me. My cousin married this man. Played squash twice a week. Went running, cycled. He had everything. PhD, his own business, lovely big house. And cancer. 41, he was diagnosed. 42, he was dead, leaving her on her own with two kids. Doctors told her that if he had regular checkups, they could have caught it and saved his life, which is why I think it's really important to. Are you listening to me? What? What was I just saying? Yeah, what's something about your uncle? I was talking about my cousin's husband's <sighs> terminal cancer. Right. I'm sorry. Right? It's just really hard, you know, to concentrate on a story when you know the storyteller's uh... <sighs> dying. Let's just, just finish their drinks and let's get home. Mm. Pleasure deferred is a pleasure multiplied, darling. Enjoy the anticipation, mm. savour the moment. That's what I think Sunita's doing. I'll just go get us another <sighs> couple of drinks, shall I? I just got the impression he were a you know, cockney wide boy, you know the sort. Not the type of man you could rely on. He'll be here. I hope so. Tell you what, love, if he does leave you standing on your own all night, done up like a dog's dinner. Well, there's no chance of that, is there? No. Look, but if he does, we'll make him pay for it Monday morning, won't we, Jan? Oh, we will. He won't do that. Well, I won't put it past him. Neither would I. He's not that bad, is he? I wouldn't say he was bad. No, just untrustworthy. Oh, let me buy you a drink. What's ya? Hiya. I've got to care about side. What do you want to do? Stay or go? Let's go. Maybe some other time. 
Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a nice evening. We will. It'll all end in tears. I feel sorry for her. Like a lamb to the slaughter. Patrick! What the hell are you doing? Look at my coat. Sorry, sorry. Give it here. I'll get it dry for you. Get off. I'll wipe it down. Yeah, it's OK. Really. I'll, I'll put it under the hand dryer in the gent's Look, box. There's no need. Come on, take it off. It's not cold. I'm perfectly capable of drying my own coat. Thank you very much. Shall we go, Dev? What's she doing wearing a coat? It's June. Yeah, but did she actually have anything on the Shut up! But did she? Shut up! I mean, I'd have to say something, because anybody with normal feelings would. Oh, your boss is here. Well, I'll tell you what I've been telling her. I wish you would. I nearly didn't come in this morning because of who might be serving me. And I may not come in tomorrow because of who I might be serving. You change. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Look, I might not be able to keep my mouth shut. Having to deal with somebody that suddenly decides he wants to be gay. Mm. Yeah, and then killing his baby in the process. Oh, c come on now, Vera. That's, uh, that's a bit of the no, top. No, no, no. Not with his bare hands. I'm not saying that. But as good as, that baby died because of the shock the mother got when he told her what his preferences were. Anyway, listen. If he's going to be working here, I won't be doing my shopping here again. And neither will anybody else. So... Is he going to be working here? He's down for today. Well, we look to our leader for his customary wisdom and moral guidance. What does King Solomon say? Well, if you're going to tell Todd he can't work in here, I shan't be doing so either. Oh, please. Oh, it gets trickier. Who do you offend? Loyal employee or loyal customer? Look, I've got nothing against Todd. No, I haven't. Right? I feel sorry for the guy. But? Mm. What time's he on? One o'clock. Fine, I'll be back then. Come on, let's go. Putting it off doesn't solve anything. <laughs> oh, about time. I've been stuck in here on my own since eight o'clock. Right, I'm sorry, all right, but you're going to have to cope just a little bit longer because I've got to get to Swinson to help with a stock check. You are going to get someone to cover while Todd's yeah, off, are you? Yes, yes, but it's not that easy. I mean, who is going to take on a job just for a few weeks? Who? In other words, why bother when Muggins here can do it all? Mm. All right, let me do that. No, I can manage. No, don't be stupid. It's I her said piece. I can her manage. Oh! The... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, sh... Here, come on, sit down. Uh, come on. My t what did she go and do that for? It what? was an uh... accident. Oh, hey. Hey, can you, can you wiggle it? Oh, uh, no. Oh, well, it's probably bro. Uh, Better get to doctors right away, then. It's OK, really. I think maybe Jack's right. Mm. Great. That's all I need. Oh... Hi. Did you get your lunch break? Yeah. And are you okay? Not really, no. no. I was in the pub this lunchtime and Shelley said to me that. Maya! <sighs> what do you think of this? Oh, fantastic. Mm, mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can wear it tonight when we celebrate. Oh, why? What are we celebrating? Well, I went to the doctor's this afternoon. What's wrong? Oh, well, nothing. I just, uh, you know, dropped something on my foot, but uh, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. But while I was there, I asked the locum to um, check to see if the health test results were back. Mm. And? And they were. And I'm perfect. Oh, that's mm. brilliant. Mm -hmm. Now we've both got the all clear. Yep, so you know what that means, don't you? Uh, we can give blood without worrying. Uh, no. Donate our organs. <laughs> we... Mm. can go ahead and set our wedding date. Oh, that. Tell you what. Mm. Why don't we go home? Mm. I'll slip into this and uh, we can celebrate now instead. Mm. Excuse me, can you... Um... Manage on my own, yeah. of course. Mm. Oh, just a moment. Listen, darling, this probably some need to wondering where I am. Come on, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Irresponsible for what's in your life. <laughs> Yo! Hmm? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's uh, Devendra Alhan, right, yeah. No, stop it. Hmm? Oh, no, no, it's fine. I've, uh, I've picked him up yesterday. Yeah. Why, what's the... Uh, uh, well, no, I mean, I suppose I could uh, come in sometime tomorrow. It's... Right, um, is there anything, um... Right, I'll be over there shortly. Yeah.
back. Who is that? Um, doctor surgery. The rest of my results are in. Oh, I thought you got them already. Yeah, so did I. Is something wrong? Uh, well, they didn't say, but they want me to uh, go and collect them today. So. Well, what's the hurry? Why can't it wait till tomorrow? Hey, look, if it was anything serious, then one day wouldn't make a difference, would it? No, it's probably just uh, a mix-up. Look, I saw the locum yesterday, right? It's probably my own quack isn't up to speed. Oh, that must be it. Yeah. I mean, if they want a second opinion, I can tell them you're as fit as a fiddle. 30-year-old one at that. <laughs> well, that doesn't take long. Didn't it? No, I, uh, I lost track. Well, so what's the verdict? <sighs> Dev? The locum, uh, he'd uh, made a mistake. The test results, they weren't complete. And? <sighs> they found something wrong, haven't they? Haven't they? Maya, let's calm down. Oh, this is all my fault. I should never have made you take those stupid tests in the first place. No, it's, it's always best to know. To right? know what? Tell me what? Dev! To know, uh... <laughs> to know that everything's, um, OK. You're all right. <sighs> Slightly um, anemic, you know, but nothing for you to um, worry about. I'm fine. Oh, thank heaven. Promise me you will never scare me like that again. No. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Tin soup on there. You up? Those are pineapple chunks. You're right. You okay? You've only said two words since this morning. I'm uh, I'm fine. <coughs> have, you, have you got any incense, Dev? What? You know, you know the the, the smelly stuff. Yeah, look, I, I know what it is. Try the second shelf, Norris. Oh. Air freshener. I need something for an exorcism. I mean, fruits of the forest might banish lingering odours, but they're hardly likely to see off the undead. Well, what do you expect, Norris? This is the corner shop, you know? And if you don't like what we sell here, then please, you know, find somewhere else. In fact, I insist. Oh, sir, Michelle, I think your boss needs some lessons in customer relations. I said get out! I don't have the time to wait on the likes of him, all right? I don't have the time. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing, all right? I said I'm fine. I don't believe you. This is me you're talking to, Dev. <laughs> I went to the doctor's. It was just a, a, a routine checkup, you know, just routine. That's what I thought. What does that mean? They found something. Oh, nothing, um, definitely, you know, probably nothing, but, you know, they have to, to cover their backs, you know? They need to, um, carry out some more tests. For what, Dev? Please? Cancer. They think I might have bowel cancer. Hey, why don't you leave that? <laughs> And do... Uh, what? Well, I understand if you need some time alone. Mm. Truth be told, I need some time myself. But you shouldn't keep this bottled up, so I'm here if you ever want to talk. Thanks, but uh, there's really nothing uh, to be said. I mean, you can't talk this thing away. I mean, you can't haggle with it. It won't do business, and it's going to do what it's going to do regardless. Which might be nothing. Chances are you're going to be perfectly okay. Well, great. Well, remind me, when did you become a cancer specialist, babe? Sorry. It's okay. I must have sounded pretty glib. No, it's, it's my fault. I mean, from where you are, there are only platitudes. Well meant, but no use. Um, I've got to face the worst, right? What does Bo think? I haven't told her. What? No, I'm not sure she could handle it. It's, um... You've got to put her in the picture, Dev. 
How would you feel if it was the other way around and she never gave you the chance to support her? Maya's in love with you. I've seen it in her face. That entitles her to the truth. If you love her, you'll tell her. <laughs> love her? She means more to me than, uh, more to me than this. Then tell her. Where have you been? Oh, it's not that late, is it? Yes, it is. I've been waiting for you all night. You could have phoned. I'm sorry. Any more of that left? In the fridge. The reason I didn't call is because I wanted to give you the good news in person. I ran into an old workmate this afternoon. We went out for dinner. Yeah? Mm. She knows of a job coming up. She's going to put in a good word for me in the morning and let me know as soon as possible. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's uh, great. Don't go overboard, will you? No, I'm just uh, starting to worry about you. That's why it's, it's, it's terrific. It is. You don't get this lucky every day. Cheers. So, how was your afternoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, the um, usual. You know. Look, what say you we go and celebrate, you know? Lunch tomorrow, somewhere nice? Well, I haven't got that job yet. Besides, I thought you were working. Yeah, well, some things are more important than work, no? Doesn't sound like the devil, Alan, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought you wanted me to be a bit more irresponsible. Mm, absolutely. For your sake as much as mine. After all, you don't see, uh, I wish I'd spent more time at the shop carved on many tombstones. Mm. What's that, love? Do you know, I thought you were going to shut me out for a sec. It's gone closing. I know, well, I won't be a tick. Have you got any of them uh, sports drinks that bike riders use? In the fridge. It's just that I've got our jack on this exercise bike and... Oh, these are a Martha. An edgy boosting drink. I don't know, it used to be pints of ale when we were courting, but now it just sends him to kip. It's 2.40, please. Well, that's a bit steep, isn't it? Still, there's no premium on your health, is there? Our Jack hates exercise. I said to him, it's better to sweat now than tears later. Bye, love. Morning. Hi. Well, how did she take it? You didn't tell her, did you? Oh, Deb, why? I don't know. I mean, she bounced in just so full of life. She just heard that she had a, a new job. I couldn't face it. I couldn't face bringing her down. You idiot. Yeah, I know. Now you're going to have to tell her why you kept it from her, and that's going to make her mad as well as upset. I should have seen her. She just seems so happy. It doesn't I just matter. I know it's hard, but you're going to have to tell... Hiya. Morning. Hiya. Look, I'm, um, I'm meeting for lunch. I'll, I'll tell her then. Yeah, just make sure you do. You OK here? You don't mind yeah, what I I'm fine. I'm fine. You get off. And good luck. Are you on your own and all? Yeah. I've got no one till Kieran comes back. Fred's off on a jolly, of course. And he wants to be fine more stuff by the time he gets back. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, no. So, no. Sunita, what's up? What's the matter? It's dead. Well, what's he been doing? He thinks he might have cancer. Cancer? So only just found out. Oh, no. <laughs> you won't say anything, will you? No, 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 of course I won't. He hasn't even told Maya yet. You're kidding. <laughs> Is it serious? We don't know. He's got to have more tests. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Yeah, all the same. Takes me right back to our Sharon. If you're going through what I went through with her, you must feel terrible. Yeah, I do really. It's really not me for six, has it? Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> well, what kind of cancer has he got? I think maybe I've said too much. I shouldn't have said anything, really. I'm sorry for putting this on you. Oh, God, don't be daft. You've got to share these things.
I was just wondering where you were. Sorry. Mm. Mm. I hope you don't mind us starting without you. No. You look like you could do with a glass. Thank you. Has Anissa been giving you a hard time? Yeah, something like that. Listen, well, my, I've got there's good a... news and bad news. That job that came up, um, not going to be happening just yet. Right, listen, Oh, darling, but the good news is, a... um, I went to the printers to see about wedding invitations. Wedding invitations? Yeah, you know, weddings, when people vow to spend their lives together. We haven't even set a date. Well, no, but just the styling. Look, that one's quite classic. Um, this one's a bit more decorative. And, uh, if we really want to camp it up, there's this. Well, don't look so enthusiastic. Maya, there's something I need to say. What is it? What's wrong? You're leaving me, aren't you? <sighs> no. <laughs> well, what then? Those uh, test results the other day, when I said everything was fine, it's not strictly true. Oh, it's probably nothing, uh, but they found some abnormalities. We need to have some more tests. Check it out. Well, what do they think is wrong? Cancer. The wedding invites might have to be put on hold, no? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't know. Don't want to upset you. What am I, a child? You looked so worried when I came back. Yeah, I just couldn't face it. So you lied to me. I should have told you. Is that how you see me? Someone who go to pieces when I hear some bad news. I'm sorry. Okay. When will they know? Once they've done the tests, you know, a week, ten days. And if you have got it? Depends how bad it is. I mean, if they catch it in time, then um, be okay. And if they don't? How long will you have? I don't know. Oh, do you see why I wanted you to have that medical? Yeah. Well, thanks for that, sweetheart. How would I live without you? Oh. So you think this is funny, do you? <sighs> Darling. Dying is the worst-case scenario, right? They're saying it's unlikely in men my age, so let's look on the bright side. Is that what you're doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've got to know how you feel first, and I'll understand if this changes everything. Do you trust me at all? You didn't bargain for this when you agreed to marry me? It doesn't alter anything. Yes, it does. No. In sickness and in health, isn't that what we swear? Not yet, we don't. No, you've got to think about it. You've got to think where it's going to take us. You want to spend the next whatever, like, nursing a dying man? No, you've got time to back out. You can back out. There's nothing to think about. You don't get rid of me that easily. All right. Did you see Dan? Yeah. What of it? He just said he had a meeting with you, that's all. What else did he say? Nothing. When shall I expect him back? I expect he's going on somewhere. He's told you, hasn't he? Told me what? <sighs> this shop assistant hears it before me. It wasn't like that. When did he tell you? The other day. Congratulations. You obviously mean more to him than I do. He was scared of telling you. I had to drag it out of him when I saw something was wrong. Oh, so I'm not sensitive enough, is that it? He hid it from me because he cares about you. I told him a dozen times it'll only make things worse not telling you. He's an agony over it. <laughs> How did he seem? Relieved. To be getting it off his chest. Relieved to know you'll be standing by him as well, I expect. How's it left you feeling? I'm still taking it in. Anyway, the first thing is to find out if he's got it. Absolutely. Well, I mean, there might be nothing wrong with him. They said it's rare. I'm sure it'd be fine. And um, if not? 
Now we'll just all have to be very brave, won't we? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Darling, are you there? She was going to stand by you. <laughs> well, she told me the same. No, but uh, too quickly, now that I think about it, she hadn't thought it through properly, right? Have you tried a mobile? <laughs> her mobile, her parents, she's gone. She might just need a bit of space. <laughs> it's not what it says there, though, is it? Mm -hmm. So, um, how come you uh, talk to her about it? I didn't blurt it out or anything. We got talking and she just guessed. <laughs> I bet that made her day, right? I explain why it happened. How did she take that? She was a bit miffed, but she soon calmed down. I'm sorry if this is my fault. No, it's not you. She can't face being with a man who's going to die an ugly death, and who can blame her, right? Don't talk like that. <laughs> like what? It might not happen. Yeah, but let's face it, there's a good chance that it will. What am I going to do? You'll get through this. No. I won't, not without her, I won't. There's other people. There's your family and your friends. Oh, give me a break, honey. It's not them I need. And if I've lost her, I might as well be... Don't. Look, I know your friends aren't the same. And I know I'm no replacement. But I'm here if you want me. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean it, Dad. Any time. <laughs> You've got me now. And you always will. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you out of bed. You didn't! <coughs> you look terrible. Oh, thank you, darling. Shh. Haven't slept. I brought you some breakfast. Mm -hmm. I've got you some fresh orange juice and some fruit. It's all organic. Oh, well, isn't that uh, bolting the stable door a bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't be silly. We don't know if there's anything wrong with you yet. Oh, but there's something very wrong with me, babe, isn't there? Hey, Maya, she's gone! Did you make the appointment for the follow-up tests? Mm -hmm. Ugh, I haven't thought about them. Dev? Yeah. This is serious. Ooh. If it's bad news, and I'm not saying that it is, the blah, earlier they make the diagnosis, blah, blah, the better blah, your chances. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not thinking about the tests. Do you want to make me beg? Please. Don't use Maya's leaving as an excuse. You can't ignore this. Yeah, I find it really hard to believe that I so misjudged that I really do. I know you're upset. <clears throat> Some people, they can't cope with illness. They're not strong enough. It doesn't make her a bad person. You can cope. I'll call them for you. I'll make the appointment. There's no need. I'll do it. Promise? Cross my heart and hope to th I promise. Good. Well, I'll tidy up here and then I'll get back to the shop. Perhaps you should get some sleep. Thank you. You're a friend. I said I would be. <coughs> you come for your stuff? No. I've come for you. Explanation. You don't owe me anything. I'm just so glad to have you back. No, look, I know it doesn't reflect well on me. But I panicked. I couldn't bear to think of you being ill. You 
life's so healthy, so full of life. <laughs> so we both thought, yeah? When I realised you told Sunita before me... No, I shouldn't have said no, anything. That gave me the excuse I needed to bolt. <laughs> I know why you told her. I'm sorry. No, don't apologise. I'm here for you, whatever you need. <laughs> I need you. Oh. Yeah, you all right? What? Oh, sorry, I'm smiles away. Is it Dev again? I have to say something. Like what? You're already doing what you can for it. This crisis, yeah? Well, it's made me realise what he means to me. I really love him, Shell. Oh, and now be careful. You've been here before. Y yeah, but he should know. I don't want you getting hurt. I know what you and him are like. You're leaving yourself too vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Best get back. Look who turned up. So you deign to return then? <sighs> Evidently. How long for? For always. Dev and I had a little misunderstanding. It's all cleared up now. Yeah, look, we've all had a nasty shock, and shock affects people in different ways, but Maya, she's um she's come through for me. I'm very pleased for you. Thanks for looking after Dev while I was away. Uh I'll take over now. Did you arrange the tests? Uh, no, he didn't. I did. And the only other call I have to make now is the one that books our wedding. Well, well, shouldn't we wait for our test results? That doesn't make any difference. I want to marry you anyway. Let's do it. Whatever you say. I hope you'll be very happy. We will be. We already are. Hey, Bubba, where's my cash? Hey, Jeb, mate! <laughs> Look, me and Jan, back together. Right, congratulations. Uh, g and please, Shell, and uh, do you reckon I should stick to soft drinks? Oh, not until someone actually tells you to. Yeah, you're right. Get it in. And a large brandy for me, babe. Coming up. By the way, I've decided mm. I'm coming with you when you go for those tests next week. <laughs> I love it when you take control, but there's no need. I'm going to be by your side every step of the way from now on. Yeah, but darling, I don't even know if there's anything wrong with me. I mean, I feel fine. Oh, well, you look fine and you're in great shape, but it's still stressful for you. <laughs> She's gone all Florence Nightingale on me. <laughs> you wait till we're married. I'll show you the meaning of the word devotion. Mm -hmm. Large brandy, please, Shell and uh, Sunita. Oh, where are you, Shell? Oh, I'll have a glass of red wine, please. Okay, love. Where's Maya? Uh, ladies, listen, you've been a great friend the past couple of weeks. I'm just pleased to see you back tomorrow. Well, if you can call life with uh, Maya normal, well, actually, you know, the past couple of days, I've seen a different side of her. Not before time. I'm sorry if I've completely freaked about this whole business. Does Maya know that? I need to moat. She's your fiancé, you should talk to her. I will, I do. Turn to something. Don't let me interrupt. Carry on with whatever you were talking about. <laughs> shop. <laughs> talking shop. Uh, all right. Uh, Steve's not in, is there? Well, he's at the office. Said he's going to go straight home. Right, good. Uh, can I borrow you for five minutes, then? Karen, I've just got a drink. Yeah, I know, but it's uh, Steve's birthday tomorrow, and I'm planning a little surprise, and I need your help. To do... Well, come with me and I'll show you. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. Excuse me, ladies. Thank you. Lucky Dev. Having you to pick up the pieces when I had my little, um, wobble. I only did what any friend would do. No, no, you went far beyond the call of duty. I just wanted to offer Dev some comfort. And I knew you'd been right in there the minute my back was turned. I don't know what you mean. See so what a good friend I am, Dev. I wouldn't desert you in your hour of need. Don't judge me by your own standards. Well, I'm back now. And I'm watching you. So you just stay behind that counter where you belong, eh? Sunita? Sunita? What do you want? Penny for your thoughts. They're not for sale. Oh, well, I know that old trick. You're just trying to run the price up. OK. I'll go to, um, a pound? I mean it, Dev. Oh. Well, now you've got me really curious. Tell you what, why don't you name your price, hmm? Take what you want from the till. Come on, Sunita, what's the matter? Come on, hey, let me in. Let it go, please. Where's he hiding? What? Dev? Come out. Come out wherever you are. I know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. It's like dragging a small boy off for a haircut. Mm. 
There's nothing to worry about. No, 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 I'm not uh, uh, worried. I was just running doing the, the uh, VAT, you know, to be uh, honest, I forgot about it. Liar. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> forgot about what? Oh, it's a personal matter. Yeah, appointment with the uh, consultant. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I just... I didn't forget about it. Um, I woke up thinking about it. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, don't worry yourself. It's got me to hold his hand. I don't need anybody to hold my hand. Oh, I'm sure you don't, but I do. It's going to be all right, though. Thank you. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Good luck. Come on. Shouldn't be long. It's no problem. Well, why should there be? After all, it's what you're paid for, isn't it? It's nothing. He just wants to run a simple test, a colonoscopy. I won't even have to stay in. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is, unless they find something, right? Oh, even if they do, and it's very likely that they won't, but even if they do, it'll probably turn out to be benign. <laughs> Strange word, that, isn't it? Benign. That makes you think of the Pope or something, not the big C. Whatever it is, it's going to be OK. Yeah, of course, yeah. Come on. Let's get you a drink. Um, listen, I should get back to Sunita. Why? Well, she'll be needing her break. Oh, look, my concern is what you need. She'll cope. Come on, they kept us waiting around here for hours. It's not your fault. She'll understand. Let's just get you a quick drink on the way back. Yeah, best, best we get back. We'll go out later, yeah? Well, if that's what you want. Hey. How was it? Yeah, oh, nothing it... serious. Just a few tests. Mm -hmm. When the results come through, everything will be fine. Mm. Good. That, that's good. What's the matter? Hmm? So to, come on, believe me, I'm, I'm fine. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I've just had a very... I don't feel very well. I need some fresh air. Hey, hey, oh, Sunita, there's a... Leave her. What do you think's the matter with her? She's always been emotionally unstable. I don't know how you managed to get a day's work out of her, and judging by today, you clearly don't. Bye, Blanche. Mm. What are you doing? What you should have done when Sunita walked out. Home. <laughs> I'm going to run you a bath. OK, all right, I'll just pop up and see how she is. Oh, yeah, why not just give her exactly what she wants? <sighs> well, something's obviously wrong, babe. And nothing's wrong down here. Look, here you are, left to quibble over change when you've had consultants prodding and probing you all day. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And this from the Angel of Mercy. She's keen enough to offer free counselling, but when it comes to doing what she's paid for... OK, you prepared to stand in for her? Are you going to be here at seven in the morning when they deliver the bread? Because if I'm going to be out of action for who knows how long, I need to know I've got a member of staff that I can rely on. We've been through this together, Dev. Please don't <sighs> take it out on me. Well, let me do this. There she is. All right, thank you. I'm sorry about before. Your timing is impeccable. I wasn't okay. feeling well. So you vanished without a word. Did it not occur to you that Dev might be feeling just a bit below par himself? Right, you're feeling better now? Yes, thanks. It won't happen again. You're damn right, it won't. No, listen, ladies, we have all had a stressful day. I know, and I've just gone and made it worse. Don't you dare go fishing for sympathy. Maya! If there's anything I can do to help... Oh, well, what's the point when you won't help yourself? Will you tell her that she can't behave like this? Thank you. I'm feeling fine now. Come on. Colonoscopy. Are you scared? <laughs> scared? What, some young whippersnapper who hasn't slept for 72 hours is going to stick a camera up my jacksy? <laughs> I think the word's uh, terrified. You know, I would come with you, but... A three's a crowd, right? Exactly. Hey, we need someone to uh, sit behind the till and, oh, it's going to be a while before I can do those honours, right? Oh, don't. <laughs> you know, I've got half a mind to cancel. No way. Let fate take its course. You are not cancelling. Cameras are there for capturing the good times. I'm sure I've read in the small print somewhere. Warning, do not shove up your... <laughs> hey! Hey, yourself. You gave me the slip. Yeah, I just wanted to pop my head in and say yeah, hello. Oh, goodbye would be more appropriate. We're going to be late. Good luck. Hey, I'll be fine. <sighs> Don't build up your parts, Anita. He'll be back in a few hours. Let me know how it goes. Hey, how was it? 
Painful. Why didn't you stay in the car? Because you'd never found it. You're mobile. Thank you. I was going to drop it round later. You look wiped out. Yeah, he is. Need to get him home and spoil him rotten. Come on, you. What did they say? Oh, nothing really. I have to wait for my results. Well, let me know if you need any help. We've pretty much got it covered, thanks. Uh, best thing you can do is just keep the pennies rolling in, yeah? Tell me the minute you hear from the hospital. Will do. Right now, if you excuse me, I just need to go and uh, stand up somewhere. I think what Dev and I really need right now is just a bit of space. I don't look ill, do I? Hmm? No. I don't feel ill. So the chances are I'm all right. I don't have cancer. I mean, people that have cancer, they don't look like I do, right? So I haven't got cancer. Of course not. I'm disappointed in you, Dev Allahan. <laughs> Why? Busy man like you, running seven shops in a taxi firm, I wouldn't have thought you had time to worry about things that aren't going to happen. Mm. There's nothing wrong with you. These results are just going to back that up. Mm. I suppose they don't. <laughs> Dev, you could get run over by a bus tomorrow. Stop wondering and supposing what if. Yeah. We're talking cancer, Maya, the big C, one in three. Isn't that what they say? Aren't those the statistics? It's not cancer, Dev. And even if the results are positive, there are treatments, there are things they can do. It doesn't mean you're going <laughs> to... I'm going to die. I'm not ready to die. <laughs> oh, Sunita, what are you doing here? I wanted to see Dev. Oh, what about the shop? The shop. You can't just I shop the shop whenever Dev. you want to. To wish you luck for the test results. Thank you. Have you ever heard of the phone? It's a good luck card. <laughs> I know you've been worried. We're all worried. I am. Not that there's anything to be worried about. Of course there isn't. But, well, I'm sure everything's going to be all right. That's just what uh, Maya was saying. Thank you. Right, then. I'd best be getting off. I've got a taxi waiting for me. Just so you know, I'll be thinking of you. Thank you. I'll see you out. Mr. Allahan, please take a seat. Uh, this is my fiance. Oh, please. So you got the results? We have. And these are the uh, right results. I mean, you know, not, nobody else is there. Mine, yes? I can assure you these are the correct results. <clears throat> OK. I'm ready. Mr. Allahan, I'm pleased to tell you that the results of your colonoscopy have all come back negative. The polyp which was causing the blood loss was benign. <sighs> I'm in the clear. Yes, you are. I haven't got cancer. No. <sighs> I'm in the clear. I love you. And I love you too, babe. <laughs> no, I mean, I really love you. These past few days I've been trying so hard to be positive. <laughs> Kept telling myself that everything would be OK, there was nothing wrong with you. And you have been my rock. Well, inside I was terrified. I've lain awake at night watching you sleep. And I've been so scared if you died. Mm. Hey, come on. Let's have some more champagne. I don't think I could go on without you, Dev. I know you never know where you are with me, and I know that I can be a right bitch sometimes, but I don't think I could face life without you. And you're not going to have to. You're going to have me for a long time, because I am not going anywhere. Hold me. <sighs> Dev, how was it? Did you get the test results? I got the all clear. You've not got cancer? No. But what was wrong with you? 
Nothing serious. They gave me some tablets for a slight iron deficiency, but I have not got cancer. Which is wonderful. It's fantastic. You know, I'm on cloud nine. I just can't stop grinning. Oh. Just... Oh. Sunita! It's all right. I'm sorry. It happened the other day. Mm. I lost my balance. We should see a doctor. There's no need to. I know what's wrong. I'm pregnant. Yeah. What? I've done a test. It says I'm not, but I am. Who? You're not seeing anyone? Danny. Him from London. H him? When? No, I don't believe this. I don't want to talk about it. It was a terrible mistake, and now I'm paying for it. Yeah, but you should have told me. You could have told me. Hey, you were worried about your test results. I thought it would go away, but it hasn't. <sighs> right, tomorrow we're going to the doctors and I'm coming with you. No arguments. OK. No arguments. I bought another kit. Different make. Still negative. It can be wrong, you know. You might still be pregnant. Do you want me to come to the doctors with you? Dev's coming. Dev? Are you sure you want a man with you, but even him? Oh, I, I was just saying, I can go to the doctors with Sunita. No need. You haven't said anything to my have you, about well, me maybe being pregnant? No, point to her, sure, right? Um, we've nothing but for this afternoon, have we? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, good. In that case, I'll uh, put myself in at the hairdresser. Uh, Maya, I was hoping you'd look after the shop person. Uh, Need to know I've got to go out. Well, <laughs> uh, doctors, I promise I'll take her. Why? Why? Because uh, it's across town and she's still registered with Patel. I can go if you're busy. Well, there's no problem. No, I thought I told you, no? No. no I'm sorry, babe. Give us a ring when you get back, OK? Here, you lot would know where I can get a top like this. It's out of my league, that. Even the label costs more than I'd pay oh. for a top. Maya, any ideas? I doubt if any of the dress shop assistants in Weatherfield could even pronounce that. Mm. Manchester, if you're lucky. Look at me. A black cat run across my path day I got married. Ran straight under a bus. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? Not getting my hair done. Deb's taken Sunita to the doctors. Hmm. Pity someone didn't take that little mare to the vets years back. <laughs> Saved us all a lot of grief. Oh, you still think something happened between her and Danny? Nah. But only because I got here in time. He didn't even squeak when I got myself a domestic. You know the old dear from next door? Oh, Vera Duckworth. Mm -hmm. You've got a real fan there. Hey? Eh? Came in with a designer blouse this morning, wanting to know where she could get one. <laughs> well, I didn't realise it was yours. Yeah, I like my clothes. I have to look my best to keep his eyes on me and not every little slapper that passes. <laughs> well, you still thought he was worth coming to Weatherfield for, though. Mm -hmm. So what's up with Sunita? Mm, leading question. Isn't she capable of going to the doctors on her own? She had some sort of... Funny turn yesterday. Dev was worried that she wasn't safe to go alone. So, get her a cab. He does own the firm. Do you know, I used to think it was just Danny, but now I realise that all men keep their brains in their pants. Why can't they see through a little Miss Innocent act? I'm not pregnant. <sighs> I'm so pleased. So why the uh, wooziness? And the headaches and the rest? Not just uh, run down, overtired? Can we go back to the hooray, I'm not pregnant conversation? Uh, Sunita, what did the doctor say? Doesn't know. Blood test. No guesses? No, we think it might be... Good night to say. Well, you can't work. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, we'll take a rest, put your feet up. I almost wish I was pregnant. <laughs> It'll be nothing. Doctors, they need to be careful nowadays. Mm? Mm. At last! Well, there must have been at least a major operation the time you two have been. You just go and lie down. I'll come up later and uh, make you some tea. I'm fine. I can work. No, you can't. What is wrong, anyway? You've got to do more tests. Mm. Well, they don't know what it is. That's why they've got to do more tests. Go. I'm sorry we were so long. I'm not surprised. If the doctors can't find anything wrong with you, that must take time. I didn't say it was nothing. I said they didn't know what the problem was. Well, whatever it is, you're back now, so I'm going to see if they can still fit me in at the hairdressers. What about the shop? You're not doing anything, are you? You take care of yourself. Come on. You ready for bed? Not feeling well. What's the matter? Oh, just some vague symptoms that no one will be able to pin down. 
This is a joke. It's not a funny one. I'm not the one laughing there, but I promise you, someone is. Sunita is ill. Oh, she's certainly sick. Extremely manipulative, anyway. You're going to regret this, Maya. Think about it, Dev. Danny Baldwin comes on the scene. Then his wife appears. She didn't know he was married. Proves my point. Then, the number one man on her wish list has a health scare. Oh, the attention he gets, the cranking up of emotion. But he's all right. The same day, right in front of him, she collapses. If you'd been there, you'd know she isn't faking it. I'm sure she wasn't. She was overcome with excitement. The chance to get to you when you're still vulnerable, when you thought you might have had cancer. What better time to be ill? You know, I don't believe this. What is it? You're callous? You're jealous? What is it? Dev, the doctors don't think there's anything wrong with her. The doctors don't know what's wrong. She's having symptoms no one can confirm. No rash. Vomiting, though, I'm sure she could manage it if required. Yeah, I'm the one that's close to vomiting, you know. It makes me sick to the stomach to hear this. Did you talk to the doctor? Or did Sunita just give you her version? And why were you there? Why not best friend Shelley? I am also her friend, you know. She doesn't talk to her family. You know all this. Yes, and I know that you're everything she wants. And to get to you, she'll pull every dirty trick, push every one of your sympathy buttons, and in passing, make sure I come off the unsympathetic cow. I certainly done that. You know, you're the one who's sick, Maya, and I'm going to make you even sicker, Miss Failed Solicitor, because for all of your summing up of the facts, you have failed to convince this jury. And, you know, I actually wish it was all in her head, but you know what? I am scared for her. I think she is seriously ill, and I am disgusted that you aren't even prepared to see it. How about we jump in the car and go somewhere nice this afternoon? I'm working. You didn't say? Just decided. Because you don't want to spend time with me. Because I'm not leaving Sunita on her own all day, because contrary to your warped ideas, she's ill. I know. How many times do I have to apologize? Once, if I thought you meant it. I do. It's a stupid thing to say. Sunita wouldn't feign illness. No. Oh. So what was it? Huh. Sick joke? No. Okay, I made a mistake, but can you blame me? If I was as friendly with an ex, wouldn't you become uneasy? Jealous? I love you, so I trust you. Well, I do trust you. It's not you I'm concerned about. Sunita's a mate. Oh, listen, I promise you that's all there is to it. Okay. Well, I can't pretend I'm thrilled about your spending so much time with her instead of me. Well, that's a shame. Because I've seen a lot more of her now. I don't want this to cause aggro between us, but she needs me. Oh, you're not her only friend. I'm the one she can count on. And she was there for me when she thought I was ill. Oh, so was I a damn sight more often than she was. Yeah, eventually. What? Yeah. When it first hit, or when I needed someone to hold me up, you weren't there. How can you say that, Dev? I ran because I was in hell. I couldn't look at you without crying. But I forced myself to come back because I love you. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Quiet. It's bound to be. Too nice a Sunday to hang around here. It hasn't stopped you. Anyway, I didn't mean the shot. You're all right. Yeah. Fine. I could have coped. I don't want you wasting your time worrying about me. How can I not worry? Anyway, it's not just that. Me and Maya, we've had a few words. What about? Me? Oh, you know, her imagination just runs riot sometimes. and She gets so paranoid. She's not being paranoid. She's being ridiculous. Ah. Uh, huh? Excuse me. Excuse me, but what's the matter with me all of a sudden? Huh? There isn't anything the matter with you. Mm. Doesn't she think I've got better things to think about than men right now? I have no idea what she thinks about. She's a complete mystery sometimes. Well, I don't want to come between you two. Maybe I should have a word with her. No. Put her straight. No, 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 no. Come on. Best left alone. Her moods, they blow themselves out eventually. What? No. You'd think he'd jump at the chance to spend some time together. Said he goes into the shop yet again. He strikes me as the kind of bloke who's never happy unless he's got a pricing gun in his hand. Oh, no. You make him sound like some money-grubbing backstreet grocer. There's more to him than that. Well, something's attracting him to that shop, and if it ain't the romance of retail, I wonder what it could be. Oh, he insists Sunita and he are just friends. 
men and women can't be just friends. Believe me, I know. Mm. She's thick as thieves with Lady Muck. Always in and out the back. I'll keep an ear open for you. Thanks. Maybe I'm fighting a losing battle. I can't believe you're turning it in so easy. If you've got a good-looking, successful fella, you're going to have to fight for him sometimes. Law of the jungle. <sighs> a scotch and an orange juice, please. Coming up. What's this? Early closing. I knew you wasn't feeling too hot. There were no panthers, so I thought we'd shut for an hour. <sighs> Wonders will never cease. Glad to see where your priorities lie. Do you want anything? A large glass of red. Why don't you come and sit down, Sunita? You look awful. How are you doing? I, I'm just a bit tired, that's all. I'll open up again in a bit. <laughs> no, you won't. We can't have you on your feet all afternoon if you're feeling rough. I'll be fine, honestly. Dev and I are really worried about you. I can do the odd shift in the shop if it'll help ease the workload. Well, that's good of you, but I can cope. <laughs> oh, there's a difference between coping and recovering. We want you back to your old self, ASAP. Thanks. Excuse me a minute. Change your tune all of a sudden? Well, I've just had a chance to think. All I've ever wanted is to make you happy, and if that means playing nursemaid to Sunita, then so be it. I just thought I'd tell you I'm off to the doctors. Oh, not on your own, I hope. You're going with her, aren't you? Well, you don't mind holding the fort? No, I've told you I'm happy to do whatever I can to help. Besides, she needs someone with her. No, I'll be fine on me on. It's no, no, no big no, deal. No, no, I mean, if Maya's uh, happy, then I think you should have uh, someone. I I'll just get my jacket, yeah? Yeah? Thanks. Actually, I'm quite nervous. Oh, don't be. Everything's going to be fine, trust me. <laughs> Right, we ready? Yeah. Oh, you better leave me your keys. All right, yeah. Thanks. And good luck. Thank you. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm a penny short. A penny? Yeah, my change should have been three pounds and a penny. You've just given me three pounds. Well, now you're giving me nine pence too much. This is what I can't stand about being a grocer. It's 37 pence this, 58 pence that. Why can't we just round all the figures off? 50 pence, a pound, a fiver. Who wants to waste their life bickering over pennies? When you're running a business, a penny here, a penny there, makes all the difference. Well, fortunately, I'm not. I'm just the stand-in. In fact, I'm, I'm bored now, so I'm going to close the shop. What? But dinner time? It's terrible, isn't it? And before you ask, I did have the same slack attitude to being a lawyer. Most of the blood tests have come back clear, but I'm concerned about a raised prolactin level. Meaning? I'm not sure that this is a gynaecological problem, actually. I see. I'd like to send you to the general to see Dr. Cunningham at the Department of Endocrinology. Right. I'll write to him today. You should get acknowledgement from the hospital within a week or two. OK. Well, is that it? You don't have any further th thoughts you might like to share with us? Dev. No, I'm sorry, but I don't even know what this endocrine knowledge... What is that? Miss Denise has been very worried, and if there's anything else you can tell her, I'm sure she'd be very grateful. An endocrinologist looks at hormones, secretions. He can order tests that I can't. Tests for what? Could be any number of things. At this point, I'm um, just keeping my options open. So that really is it. There's nothing more you can tell us to put our minds at rest. She tell us Look, if I know what you're like, Sunita, you worry. Hmm? I really think we should just wait until Sunita sees Dr. Cunningham. And how long is that likely to be? It's difficult to say. I'm not sure how long his waiting list is. All right, but are we talking weeks, months, what? Probably a month or two. Hmm. Well, that period's short if we went private. Dev, I can't no, afford... I don't want you to worry about the money. Hmm? Would she get to see this guy any quicker if we went private? Yes. Should get to see him more or less straight away. Right then. That's what we'll do.
to be giving me moral support. You're not arguing with the doctor. Look, I didn't argue with her. She was telling her nothing, absolutely nothing. But she didn't want to commit herself. And didn't rule anything out, didn't rule anything in, so I gave her a little nudge. I didn't know where to look. You show these people far too much respect. You've got to make them show their hand, which she did eventually, yes? Well, yeah, she did tell me a lot more than she would have if Thank I'd been on my own. You. Well, now it's my turn to dish out the TLC. You can take over here. Uh, why, where are you going? Well, she's had a very stressful morning. She needs to shop. Oh, you're open now. I came over an hour ago and you were short in the middle of the day. I just needed some air. <sighs> Come on, just a quickie to get us in the mood. Right, then I'll have a glass of red wine, please, shall we? Glass of red wine and um, a G and T for me. Ice? Please. Oh, I'm glad we're doing this. I've got a little surprise purchase can for Bev. You can help me, please. My that. Dad's not here. You don't have to put on an act. I'm not putting on an act. I thought that's why you wanted to get me on my own. To warm me off getting too pally with Dev. No, I want us to be friends. <laughs> Has Dr Patel told you something that she hadn't told me or Dev? I like you. I've always liked you. I just get a bit jealous sometimes. <laughs> I think that's the understatement of the century. Oh, trust me. By the end of the day, you'll realise how little you know me and what a nice person I really am. Come on, we deserve a drink. It's hard work trudging around boutiques all day. Dev's on his own in the shop. That will do him the world of good. He mustn't indulge in Sunita. He's not a little boy. Anyway, who knows better what Dev needs than his uh, fiancé. Now, what are you drinking? It's on me, of course. Well, I'll have a lemonade then, please. OK, grab a seat and look after those for me, would you? Hi, Frankie. Liz. Hiya. Um, a lemonade and a glass of white wine, please. Coming up. Want a drink, Frankie? No, I'll stick with this for now. Thanks all the same. How did it go this morning? She wants me to have more tests. What for, if you're not pregnant? Well, you tell me. Anyway, there's a waiting list. But Dev's paying for me to go private. Mm -hmm. Say nothing to my issue. There you go. Cheers. Thank you. I didn't yeah. think you and her were friends. Oh, no, we're not. What's I've decided to keep a sharp eye on my fiancé's favourite employee from now on, just in case I miss something. Oh, yeah, she's good idea, doll. Can't be too careful. Oh, I was just thinking of sending out search parties for you two. I'm sorry we were such a long time. Don't apologise to him. He's not entirely helpless when you leave him on his own. Besides, he thought it would be a good idea to take you shopping with me. I did. I thought Sunita might be a voice of reason if you're intent on buying everything in sight. Oh, her master's voice. Well, you're wrong. I've spent a fortune and, uh, not a small fortune either. <sighs> Babe, you've already got more clothes than you're ever going to wear. Oh, I was buying for you, actually. See? I wear them. He gets the benefit. What do you think? <clears throat> Thank you, Maya. <laughs> You wanted to embarrass everybody, you've succeeded. Well, I'm always successful, you know that. And the rest of the money I've spent, that's for you too. A huge surprise. Yeah, like what? Well, they'll be telling, but um, suffice it to say that you're going to be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, like, really, really thrilled? Mm -hmm. I'm thrilled. Mm, really, really, very, really, really. Very. <laughs> you like a drink? Mm -hmm. Not right now. Dev? Mm -hmm. There's nothing going on I should know about, is there? Well, if there is, I don't know anything about it either. Well, come on. I don't keep me in suspenders. I want to know about this surprise and how much it's going to cost me. Well, here's a clue. In a way, it's uh, like the underwear I bought. We'll both enjoy it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm the faintest. Well, it's like um, an experience. Yeah. Imagine you and me on a beach in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. The waves are breaking on the sand. Mm -hmm. There's a big moon beginning to rise over the sea. You and I standing there side by side. You're holding my hand, and this man is saying, do All right, you... listen, I get it, I get it. This is this sort of, like, fantasy-type <laughs> thing, right? Yeah? It's no fantasy. I've booked it. Our wedding and our honeymoon, two weeks from now. <laughs> this is a wind-up, right? It's no wind-up. Come on, admit it. You'd be disappointed if it was, Dad. We are going to have a wonderful wedding. There's a receipt for the booking. Convince her. You really gonna have done this? 
And then you've done some outrageous things in your time, but... Uh... This is my masterpiece, I know. You don't think that something as important as a marriage there ought to be a little consultation, like get the bridegroom's take on the arrangements? Oh, no cold water, Dev. We've got the rest of our lives to be reasonable. We love each other, right? Yeah. We want to get married, don't we? Yeah, but all the same, it's... No buts. No ifs, no maybes. It's going to be wonderful, I promise you. So let's celebrate. Take me to bed. That'd be her now, ringing to say she can't make it. She won't do that to you. <laughs> you don't know her. Shell, could you cover for me? It's private, Doctor. They won't keep me waiting long. I'll only be gone a couple of hours. Can't you just shut the shop? I don't think Dev would be too pleased. Please. <sighs> Hello, Allahans. Hi, it's me. Is she there yet? Not yet. Uh, she's probably uh, forgotten. Yep. Right, well, look, I'm going to be there in 15 minutes. We'll shut the shop and I'll drive you to the hospital. Uh, you won't be late. I thought you were really busy. Doesn't matter. Uh, won't be long. Uh, bye. Bye. Thanks. Well, it was Dev. He's going to drive me there. Is he going to be all right? Yeah, he's been a real rock these last few days. You've still got that soft spot for him, haven't you? Getting married in a couple of weeks. I miss my chance. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll survive. What are you talking about? Of course you'll survive. Nobody ever died of a migraine. I thought you'd forgotten. If I say I'm going to do something, then I do it. You should know that. Now, I've got a taxi waiting for you outside, so come along, get your things. Chop, chop. <sighs> You're here? Hmm. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, did uh, Sunita get away on time? Yes. And I got a gorgeous outfit for the ceremony, as well as a pair of white wedding trunks for the groom. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you think we're doing the right thing with this wedding? Don't you? Yeah, it's just, um... Just what? <laughs> you know, I had something very similar book when I was engaged to Gina, and so, you know... Kind of wondering that it might be a... Bad omen. Maybe we should do this some other way. So... Hey. Hey, Gina's the past. Who cares about her? We can't let our exes get in the way of our wedding, can we? Yeah, I know. That, it's just... all booked and paid for now. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Hiya. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye-bye. Only me. Uh, well, I thought you'd be back home by now. Just wondering how you got into the hospital. Hope everything's okay. I'm sure it is. Well, give me a ring when you get this. Bye. I've been ringing. I know. Well, why didn't you answer? I'm sorry. I just hmm? wanted to be on my own for a while. Everything okay? I've got to go back in a couple of days for the results, and I'm booked in for a scan. What kind of scan? MRI, they called it. What's that? <laughs> A brain scan. A brain? Why do the... What do they think it is? They won't know until they get the results. It's probably nothing. I'm going with you next time. There's no need to. I'm going with you. You can't go for this on your own. I should have gone today. Dad, you've done enough already. Honestly, I'm fine. Don't worry. I'll be as right as rain before you have to leave to go to your wedding. Yes, I'm not worried about the wedding. I just want you to be OK. Aren't you going to answer that? It's Maya. Please don't tell her. I don't want anyone to know. Not Maya, not even Shelley. I don't want any fuss OK. It's probably just going to turn out to be a meat grain. I feel such a fool for putting everybody to all this trouble. Hello? Where are you? I'm waiting to lock up. I'll be down in five. Down? Yeah. Five minutes. How long have you been parked here? Oh, an hour, maybe a bit longer. Why well, you never called in to see me? Hey, I'm sorry. I was bored out of my mind in there. Yeah, I went to the Rovers for a drink and I called in to Sunita to see how she got into the hospital. Well, I'd better drive if you've been drinking. Take it yourself.
I was speaking to the travel agent this afternoon about the wedding. Do we have to talk about that now? Oh, yes, actually, we do. We need to make a decision about whether we prefer Maya, to... Maya, I don't want to talk about the wedding. But it's two weeks away. No, I'm sick of hearing about it. I only told you yesterday, 24 hours later, and you're sick of hearing about I it. I just feel like it's going a bit too fast. I feel as if I'm being railroaded into it. What, you don't want to get married? No, I'm not saying that. Well, what are you saying? We've been engaged for months, but hell, if you think that's too fast... I think we should call it off. You want to cancel the wedding? For now. Is this to do with Sunita? No. Poor little Sunita and her attention-grabbing illnesses. What were you doing up in her flat just now, mopping her fevered brow? Well, I'll bet she loved that. It's got nothing to do with Sunita. Get out. Look, I still love you. Get out. It's just the timing. It's Get just... out! Can we discuss this? No, get out. I'm sorry. Wouldn't you rather do it with all our friends and family? No! Wouldn't it be better if they were there to share our big day? Oh, you're trying to make out you're against the idea in principle, are you? I am. No, you're not. If you were, you wouldn't have... Morning! Morning! Oh, hello. Hello. One pound eight, please. Right. Would you like a bag with that? No, Dev. I'm all right. No. Looks like it's going to be a scorcher, doesn't it? Uh, not according to the forecast. They say it's going to cloud over later. Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to be working all day anyway. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Eight. There you go. Bye now. Bye now. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. If you were against Caribbean weddings in principle, you would never have planned one with Gina. Yeah, but I didn't go through with it. Well, that was her idea, not yours. Mm -hmm. it made me think. You don't want to marry me at all, do you? Yes, I do. So what's stopping us? Morning. Morning. Hi. When? Tomorrow. Can't Sunita do it? She's got to go back to the hospital. What, again? Yeah, I'm going with her, so that's why I need you to cover. I've done it twice for her already. Why does she need to go again? She's not well, babe. Oh, and at the weekend, nobody goes to the doctors at the weekend. She's taking us for fool's dev. It's private practice. It's a hoax. So how can she afford to go private? She can't. Well, then. I'm paying for her. You're what? I've been worried about her, so I'm paying for her. Now we're getting to the bottom of it. Now we're getting to the truth. Sunita's so six of the weddings off. I was right all along. Listen, I must admit... It would be a great time to go away. Like, I feel as if I should be here for her. I knew it! Hang on, you You listen. don't want to get married because you'd rather stay here and not Poor Please! Sunita, she's got you wrapped around her little finger! Listen, please! If you like her so much, marry her instead! What happened? Just kids. Nothing to worry about. I thought I heard a commotion before. Well, it didn't disturb you, did it? No. But it didn't sound like kids either. Okay. Not kids. Hurricane Maya. Why? 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 Because I told her I wanted to wait before we got married. Not because of me. I just don't want a rush job. But I thought it's all booked. No, it can be unbooked. No wonder she was shouting. Mm. She'll get over it. Now you should be upstairs resting. Mm? Dev, mm -hmm. I appreciate the lying. But I'd rather work keeps my mind off things. How's your head? Better than yours by the look of it. <sighs> well, maybe I'll go and get a quick brain scan myself while I'm there tomorrow, hmm? Come on. Let me give you a hand. He was up and down like a duck at a fur. Did you hit him? Tin of beans, right between the eyes. <laughs> nice one. Oh, it's not funny. I might call in there later for ammunition. It's my anniversary today, and if Danny's not back home in ten minutes with a gorgeous dress in his hands, I wouldn't mind bouncing a couple of tins off his head. I'm telling you, my wedding's been cancelled, and you're bragging about your anniversary. Oh, I was hardly bragging, darling. Oh, he said I was rushing him into it. He wanted his friends and family there, but that's not the real reason. So what is? Sunita? Pizza girl? Oh, you've noticed her complexion, have you? I did warn you about her. <sighs> yeah, why was that? I just don't trust her, that's all. Things I've heard on the grapevine. I'll say no more. We're not ones to gossip where I come from. Well, 
He's been fussing around her like a mother hen lately. Giving her days off, taking her to the doctors. She claims she's sick. She's even got him paying for private health treatment now. Well, listen, like I said, I'm not one to gossip, but... What have you heard? Well, I could be wrong. What have you heard, Frankie? Well, there was a reason that I was worried about this Sunita bird. Go on. And it would explain all the doctor stuff. What is it? Well, the rumour I heard was that she might be pregnant. It could just be a rumour. She did deny it when I missed her. I'll find out one way or another. Don't you worry about that. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. See ya. He's gone to the Swinton shop. It'll probably be a couple of hours at least. Right. <laughs> How are you feeling today? OK, thanks. Better than this morning? Yeah, fine. I'm um, assuming you must have been feeling sick this morning or uh, Dad wouldn't have given you the time off. Comes and goes. Hmm. But he has been very kind, yeah? Uh, he's um, taking you to the hospital tomorrow, isn't he? He's offered. <sighs> Still no idea what the problem is. It's probably just a migraine. Hmm. Did you want something? Uh, no. No, no, no. I just called in to check on you. Uh, do you think you're going to be OK here this afternoon? All on your own? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a shelf full of painkillers behind me if I'm not. Uh, you won't suddenly need to rush off upstairs for a lie down or anything? No. Oh, well, good. But if you do, ring my mobile. I'll come and take over for you. I won't be very far away. Thanks. I want to thank you, by the way, for not throwing tins of dog food at Sunita. She said that you were very kind yesterday afternoon. I was taking the view that uh, she can't help being ill. And that's right. And that's very good of you. To blame me, not her. Does she know what's wrong with her yet? Not yet, no. That's what this hospital appointment's about. How long will you be? No idea. You know what doctors are like, make you sit around for hours till they're ready. Right? Even private ones. <laughs> they're not as bad, obviously. Well, if all you've got to do is get some test results. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Oh? Yeah, she needs a scan of some kind. A scan? Yeah, I don't really understand, but they're going to be ages. Remember the palaver I went for the other week? So you could be gone all day. That's about the measure of it, yeah. Well, I could always... Take her instead, of course. If you don't want to leave the shop, we could tell you the results when we get back. I just feel like I owe her now. You don't owe her anything. You didn't make her ill, did you? I'll go. Which department is it? Not sure. She didn't say? Some long word. Didn't mean a thing to me. Look, I said I'll go with her. I think it's best we stick with that. Look, I appreciate this. It's... Lucky I'm free, actually. Yeah, how do you mean? I've been offered some consultancy work. Really? You never said? I haven't exactly mm. seen much of you just recently, have I? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Might not be for long, though. Mm -hmm. Why's that? I'm not getting any younger. 
I think we should start a family as soon as we can. <laughs> you what? Well, don't you want children? Yeah, of course, kids, yeah. Oh, so what's the problem? Well, it's just a bit sudden, you know, we need to talk about this. So if I said I was pregnant? No, but you're not, are you? What if I was? Look, stop messing about. Would you be happy? Yeah, I suppose I would, yeah. You don't sound too sure. <laughs> Maya, are you pregnant or what? No. no. So why the game? You sound relieved. It's just a bit of a shock, you know? I mean, we need to get married before we start a family, yeah, yes? Yeah, and when is that going to be? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry I'm forgetting you've got more important things on your plate right now, haven't you? I'm sorry that this has cropped up, but I have to see her through it. And once I have, we can start planning this wedding together, yes? Well, let's just see what the test results bring, shall we? Yeah. And with a bit of luck, she'll get the all clear, and that will be that. But tonight, this could all be over. Ah. So how are we feeling? Terrified. You'll be okay. It's okay for me, wasn't it? Nobody would ever die if that's how it worked. No one's going to die. Anyway, mm. you were feeling fine. I've got symptoms. Well, that's not the way it works either. Well, we'll see then, won't we? Mm -hmm. And there's a scan, which is going to be pretty grisly by the sound of I'll it. I'll be with you. Is Maya all right about you coming with? Yeah, she had a bit of a grope, she's fine. I can call me on if it's going to be any trouble. It's no trouble now. Come on, let's get you to the hospital and find out some good news. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Do you sell tissues? What? Handbag size, I've run out. Oh, uh, over there somewhere. Any news on Sunita? Yep. I found a pregnancy kit in her flat yesterday. You are joking. And do you think Dev's the father? Oh, I'm convinced of it. Have you asked him? <sighs> I don't need to. He's gone to the hospital now, but the test result's private, of course. What, he told you all that? He's still trying to make out she's got some sort of illness. It's been a bit obvious, isn't he? Saying they're going for test results. Yeah, I just can't believe his nerve. I can't believe you're letting him do it. It's called giving him enough rope to hang himself. Hmm. So when are they back? Oh, he wouldn't say. He said she needed a scan of some kind. Why would she need that? Oh, exactly. It's just more lies. No, no, hang on. <sighs> you said she went to the hospital the other day, yeah? Well, that's right. Well, maybe she's got the test results then and she's going back for something else. Such as? To get rid of it? Well, that'd explain why he's gone with her. He said they could be gone all day. Well, they could, couldn't they, with that? <sighs> and he said it could be sorted out by tonight. Well, there's your answer, darling. They already know she's pregnant and he's taking her for an abortion. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's all right. Well, we've analysed all the various results. You have something called a prolactinoma. Now, that's a benign tumour which grows on the pituitary gland in the brain. It makes you produce too much of a hormone called prolactin. That makes you miss your periods and produce breast milk, which is, of course, why you thought you were pregnant. Is it serious? No. It responds to drugs in 90% of cases. Now, sometimes surgery is required, but that's usually quite straightforward. So, nothing to worry about? Not from the prolactinoma, no. Quite by chance, while we were doing the scan, I'm afraid we came across something else called an aneurysm. Now, that's a bulge in an artery caused by the pressure of blood flowing through a weakened area. And is that serious? Well, it depends. Sometimes people live with them for years without even knowing and they never cause problems. At other times, they can be more tricky. What kind's mine? Well, until we do another scan and take a much closer look, we just don't know. And if it's serious? Let's wait till we get the results first, shall we? But what if it is? 
then we might have to operate. And will that cure it? We do have a good record in this hospital. Excuse me. What if you don't operate? Well, the biggest risk with aneurysms is that they might rupture. And then what happens? As I say, let's wait for the results first, shall we? I'm sorry, but I really need to know. Well, if they rupture, there can be heavy loss of blood. Yours being a cerebral aneurysm, it could affect the brain. Meaning what? I could die? Look, I don't think we should be alarmist here. I want a straight answer. It's very early stages. I've won the bottom line. Well, in that case, if your aneurysm were serious and if it ruptured, then I'm afraid there wouldn't be a great deal anyone could do for you. said it'd be bad. <coughs> Here, you drink that. I'm going to have my brain cut open. You didn't say that. I'm going to die if I don't. I could die anyway. You are not going to die. You said there'd be nothing wrong no, with no, me this it's morning. Just early stages, that's what he you said. You were whistling in the dark stages. then and you're doing you it now. You going to be all right. How can you say that? Let's just wait for the results. There's nothing we can do till then. Still can't take it in. It'll take a while. I don't want anybody to know about this. Of course. Not even Maya. I won't tell anybody. You upstairs, hmm? I'll take it easy. Yeah. So you don't want to meet for lunch? No. Okay. Give me a bell if you change your mind. I shan't. You know Sunita really is quite ill. Well, I won't ask you what with. I'm sure you'd already have told me if you'd wanted to. She's having a tough time. And the fact is, she's got nobody else. She's got no family. She's got no man in her life. So I have to help, yes? If you say so. Yeah, and I'm sorry if that means that I haven't been giving you the attention that I should. This thing that's wrong with her, this mystery ailment, it's going to be all right, is it? They're going to cure her. Yeah, I certainly hope so, yeah. That must be a relief for both of you. <clears throat> Look, all I'm asking is bear with me. It's a tough time for everybody, but it's not going to last forever. I've got to go. Bye. Oh, and um, give my best wishes to Sunita. Yeah, we'll do. And you making a work in this condition? He's not making me. Yeah, but he's not stopping you, which is what he should be doing. Look at her. She looks fit to drop. I've asked her to take the day off. Well, there's no good asking her. You've got to tell her. You think that's easy? Easy or not, it's something you've got to do. Dev, I'm being serious here. If anything happens to her behind this counter, you're the one to blame. Oh, no, Shelley. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I did. Tell me, honestly, how are you feeling? I don't get you. I'd have gone for him with a bread knife. Yeah, and wouldn't he have welcomed that? Then he'd deny it. She'd do the same. It'd be another case of crazy Maya having one of her turns. So what are you going to do? I think I might concentrate on her. I don't think she's anything like as good a liar as he is. If I can get her on her own and let her know her little secrets out, I think I can probably get a full and frank confession. And then I go for him with a bread knife. Do you think it had made any difference if Dev had come clean and told you the truth? What, that he got her pregnant? Then helped her get an abortion, the whole thing, yeah. No. I can't see that it would. No, what kind of difference? The way you feel about him, if he'd said he's sorry and explained and, you know, 
trusted you enough to tell you. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll have another one you're ready, but um, I've got a little errand to run. I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Go and lie down. I'll sit down. Anyway, thanks, Todd. No, you're OK. All right. Now, you're going to be all right? You want me to come up with you? I'm fine. You can come up for a cup of tea if you like. Mm. I think I can manage a flight of stairs by myself. All right, well, let me know when you put the kettle on. But first, you go up and have a good rest. Yes, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Now, some people can't get them to work, others can't get them to stop. Hmm. It should be me waiting on you. Well, I think that's what you have been doing, haven't you? So, how are you feeling? Well, I would say all right. Yeah. But then I start shaking and crying for no reason at all, so I can't be, can I? Just the waiting. You'll be all right once you know what's going to happen. I'd be all right if I knew nothing was going to happen, if I knew I wasn't going to die. Oh, hey, now, come on. Don't, don't tell me I'm not going to. And you know everything's going to be all right, because you don't, and neither does anybody else. Sorry. No, no, you're right. Nobody knows. But everything that can be done is being done. Thanks to you, which is why I shouldn't be having a go at you. That's what I'm here for. I should be brave, shouldn't I? Because that's what people are, aren't they, when they know they're dying? They just accept it. Do you think? Really? Well, they seem to. Or they fight it. You read about that, don't you? How they fought their illness. Well, how'd you do that? I'd like to fight mine, but I don't know how. Where's the girl? Sunita. Yeah. She, uh, she, she's not very well. Oh, so what's new? And where's his lordship? In the back? No. I don't, I don't know where it is. It went out, though. Oh. Did he now? I mean, it shouldn't be long if you want to wait or leave him a message or... He hasn't gone very far then, has he? Not without his mobile. Let's see if we can think just where he might be now. I think it's that that's making me like I am. Just being frightened. But you mustn't be. Just thinking about the operation frightens me. Then I think, what if they can't even do that? What if it's inoperable? I just feel like whatever's going to happen, I am all on my own. You're not on your own. Well, I am, though. I've never been more on my own. No, I'm here and I'm going to stay and we are going to get through this together. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you... Shh. <sighs> well, isn't that nice? The lovers embracing, thinking they're fooling everyone and especially thinking they're fooling me. Well, not anymore. Because I am not believing another word. You've got this wrong, Maya. What are you doing here, then? Listen, you have got this so wrong. Why are you here? Listen, you're making a complete fool of yourself. I think you should leave right now. Answer that Jessie question! Making. She's not well, you know that! And I know why she's not well. I'm so sorry about this. Don't waste your breath on her. It's me you should be apologising to! How did you get in? Oh, never mind that. I've caught you both red-handed, haven't I? How did you get in? The door was open. The two of you must have been so desperate to get your filthy hands on each other, you didn't even bother to close the door. I just came up to see how she was. And how was she? Easy. Maya! Gagging for it. You're making a mistake. No, it's you making the mistake. I just came and up to check up on me her. is the worst mistake you'll ever make. Honestly, I really am sick. You'll be dead by the time I'm finished with you! Stop it! I'll kill you, you Leave bitch. her alone! I'll kill you! Shut up! She's not well! You've given me pills, Maya. Look, they're on that table. It's a bit late for pills now. <laughs> you should have been on them before he got you pregnant! She's not pregnant! Not now, she's not! 
But do you think I don't know what's been going on? All this clamming up whenever I come into the room. All this taking time off work. The two of you sneaking off to the doctors while I mind the shop for you. I know exactly what's been going on. You got this cheap little slut pregnant. And then yesterday you took her off to have an abortion. I've got a brain tumour. Well, the sympathy vote's always a good tactic and you were stupid enough to believe that, were you? I've also got a cerebral aneurysm. What's that? It's a bomb waiting to go off in my head. I've stopped having my periods and I even started expressing milk. This thing, it's in part of your brain that messes with your fertility and stuff, you see. So I even wondered myself if I was pregnant at one stage. Chance it'd be a fine thing. They call it a palactinoma. It's a tumour, but it's not as bad as it sounds. And it'd probably be OK if it were just that. She will be OK. You'll be absolutely fine. Nine times out of ten. They give you pills for that and the tumour shrinks. And even if I end up having surgery, I won't have Frankenstein stitches cross my head or out. They do it kind of keyhole. Only they get it through your nose. It's amazing, really. It's hardly brain surgery at all. And they'd have plenty of room. And what about the other thing? The aneurysm? Well, that's uh, a bit more of a worry. I'm so... I'm so, so sorry. It's, it's OK. No, it's not OK. How could you think that I... How could you possibly think that I and Sunita... I was and just I'm... jealous. You were paying her so much attention. And now you know why. Yeah. yeah. And I've never felt so stupid in all my life. It's OK. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who's playing a sympathy card now, eh? Hmm? I'm hmm? sorry, he's right. This is the last thing you need. Hmm. So we're in the middle of something before you burst in, so why don't you go home? We'll talk about this later. No, I want to stay. Look, I want to make it up to you. Go on, Maya. It's OK, I don't mind. I do. I want to help. Um, I'll pay for this, I'll uh, get it fixed for you. It doesn't matter. Maybe we should both go. We'll give Sunita some peace. No, you go. No, but Dev, look, it's... No, I haven't finished what I came to do yet. Well, yeah. Go home! I'm sorry. Um, I'll get this fixed, and if there's anything else... It's all right. Thank you. You can close the door behind you. You should go with her. I don't think she deserves this you for a bit, and uh, I need to calm down. Hi, Todd. Has Dev picked up his phone from the shop yet? Well, he hasn't been in at all. So you haven't seen him since I was last there? Well, when he comes in, tell him to give me a call. Simmering nicely now. It smells lovely. No, it's nothing much. It's, uh, you can, can, can have it when you want. Thanks. Make sure you eat something before you go to bed. I will, don't yeah. worry. How's your head? It's okay. You've really got to go now, Dad. Yeah. I don't like leaving you on your own. Now. There's enough for two if you. Go on to Maya. Ring me if you need anything. I will. Thanks again. You're a good friend. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Are you 
for a long time. Well, come on, say something. Get it all off your chest! I don't know where to start. If you had told me She didn't want anyone start. to know! She didn't want to make a fuss! Yeah, well, look at it from my no. point of view! No, you look at it from hers. Now, she's staring death in the face. Don't you think that she has a right to some kind of privacy? Don't you think that if she wants to keep it quiet, that we should respect that? Yes, but... But what? But what was I supposed to think? My fiancé cancels our wedding and starts hanging around with another woman. You don't automatically assume, oh, she must have a brain tumour. No, but you assume that I've got her pregnant and we're having an affair? Well, yes, actually, I did. Most people would. Go storming into her property, adding insult to injury. I was jealous. Insanely jealous. But didn't I have reason to be? She's an old friend. She's an employee. And when I thought I was staring death in the face, she was there for me. And I wasn't. You were both there for me, but... She was first. <sighs> and that's the problem. She's always first. And she's more than a friend and an employee. She's had a thing about you for years. You saw him in the past. You proposed to her once. Yes, but I'm marrying you. Before we even met. You've never done that to me, not properly. I had to more or less force you into it, so is it any wonder that when you call off our wedding and start spending time with her and being all secretive and sneaking off to see doctors together and you paying for it, is it any wonder that I jumped to the wrong conclusion? I've been hurt before, don't forget. Yeah, I know. I made a complete fool of myself back there and I hate myself for it. But you are as much to blame as I am. If you had thought about me for two minutes, you could have set my mind at rest. And none of this need ever have happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, if she's extremely ill, she's going to need support from both of us. Well, and she'll get it now I know what's going on. You don't need to worry about that. She's bound to be scared. I thought the chances are she's going to be okay. She'll be thinking worst case scenario. But the worst case scenario being what, that she could die, right? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Poor Sunita. How did you get up? About half five. Oh. Couldn't sleep. Obviously. Mm. Coffee? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Sunita. Mm. Say she, um. Ugh. Look, I hate to have to say it, but say she dies. Oh. How about a little bit of positivity first thing in the morning? Like I said last night, I'll be there for you. Yeah, we've got to think positive. Well, absolutely. Are you with me on this? You shouldn't have to ask. With the right kind of treatment, Sunita's going to make a complete recovery. Agreed? Agreed. Mm, that's more like it. <laughs> Do you think um, she'll be solely dependent on you, though? Us. Oh, us, I mean. Would she not tell Shelley? No, I don't think so. The way she's talking, she wants as few people to know as possible. Well, sick person's prerogative, I guess. Mm. In here, we have a really soothing green tea. Please, Sunita, have a cup. It's got really potent healing qualities. I prefer a, a cup of strong builder's tea myself. Well, fine, whatever floats your boat. But it's a nice gesture, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. I just... Oh, I feel awful for accusing you of... Well, what I accused you of... Having an affair with Dev. Oh, Mayor Corp, I hold my hands up, Sunita. If I had a button and I could press that button and wipe out all the bad feelings I'd had about you in the past few days, I'd press it now. Fair enough, Light, but... I'm, I'm disappointed in you, Dev. Letting a sick person stand for hours on end behind a smelly counter. You want a chair? She needs her bed. If this was my shop, which mm. it... 
Kind of is indirectly. I'd say take paid leave indefinitely. Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, nonsense, of course you can. Oh, look, and here. It's a CD of whale sounds. It's supposed to relax the mind. Why don't you go home, draw the curtains, and have a listen to this? Uh, well, uh... Right, come on, up those stairs. Go on. Well, if you're sure. Be sure. <laughs> an angel, what are you? I've got a big heart. It's a cross I have to bear. <laughs> Well, I'll just go up and make sure she's okay. Would you be in her grave so quick? What's that? Uh, phone if there's anything you need. <laughs> um, at least the heart's in the right place. Oh, interesting to know she's got one all of a sudden. Mm. Yeah. Hello? Oh, Deb, it's me. Hi, Angel. I send. Talk of the devil. You know, this business is like really weird. It's like really knocked off a six. Oh, it's me that might cop it, not her. Yeah, it's like it made a, a face of mortality or something. She was up all night brooding. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shh. Oh, oh I'm um, sorry, Sinisa. There's a woman downstairs complaining about some flowers she bought. Would you mind going and dealing with her? She's being really cantankerous. I'll play nice, mate. OK. Uh, really, I'll be all... Right on me, Oh, nonsense. I'll just sit with you. <laughs> oh. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. Go. I'm reading between the lines here, Sunita. I know you want me to stay. <sighs> You're probably thinking I'm very good at this. Am I? I've been through it all before. My friend Priya. We were at law school together. Cancer. How is she now? Oh, she's absolutely fine. Three kids, got a jeet in France, divorced, but uh, she's got her life. Did you make a drink green tea and listen to whales? No. But she soon realised that she was nothing without a network of support. Have you told your family? No, and I don't intend to. Well, that's good. Uh, Priya, really, valued the support of all her friends. I don't want anyone to know. I can't be bothered with any fuss. People pointing and staring. Already I don't feel like me anymore. I feel like that sad cow with the aneurysm. I want to be me. Well, that's great. It is. It's really great. It's just, um... Oh. It's not my place. What? No, look, I'd better go. <laughs> what is it, Maya? Oh, I promised him I wouldn't say anything. Dev? He's struggling, Sunita. Oh, he's really struggling with being your sole carer. Uh, he doesn't mind. Oh, don't tell him I said anything, he'll kill me. Of course I won't. Maybe I should lighten the load for him. Oh, you must only do what you want to do. You're in control of this. Thanks, Maya. I am not an invalid. Good. You're still not working today. But I want to work. Sunita, I want doesn't get. I need to work. It takes my mind off things. I find daytime telly helps with that. Oh, it bores the giblets out of me. Please. Take one step further and I will call the recuperation police. Oh, here you are. Oh, oh, sorry. Am I interrupting something? No. no. You haven't got a break today, have you? Yes, she has. All day. Oh, belting. Because how do you fancy some really therapeutic clothes shopping? Only I've seen these shoes in town. I can't decide whether they're too tarty or not. Will you give me an extra pair of eyes? That sounds just what the doctor ordered. No, actually, hang on. Shouldn't you be resting? Dev, shopping's therapeutic. That's why it's called retail therapy. Uh huh. And it's going to make me feel a whole lot better than watching Claire Sweeney throwing shelves up. Can I steal her? Only if you promise not to overdo it. Guy Tonner. Off you go, then. See ya. Tra, Ben. Have a nice day. Oh, hi, hi, that? hi. Hi. That fits. Well. Wow. Uh, that's a... Sunita was a girl guide. My mum wouldn't let me near the guide. She said it was vulgar. Oh. <laughs> anyway, hmm. I take it Shelley knows. Morning, Mrs Webster. Um... I just wondered if, um, if we could have a word. You can have as many as you like. I've got a big vocabulary. Um, in private? Well, Maya, my lover, we are one. I just wanted to clear up this misunderstanding mm. with the streetcar's contracts. I've got my garage hat on now, obviously. It's nice. Philip Tracy. Um, it was just that I just wondered if we were prepared to 
reinstates the free service for your car, whether you'd be interested in restarting the, uh, the contract. The contract? That puts a lot of money your way? Yes. We'll see. Did you want something in the shop? Or was it just your little contract? Oh. <sighs> Spaghetti letters, eh? You'll be eating your words next. Frankie, all right? Mm, isn't it a glorious day? Yeah. Any gossip? Now are you? Uh, where to start? Something dreadful's happened, Frankie. Dev and Sunita are not having an affair. Well, that's good, isn't it? Sunita's got a brain tumour. What? Hmm. Poor thing. Brain tumour? Yeah, not just that, but an aneurysm, too. How's she taking it? Well, she's putting on a brave face, but she's crumbling inside. Yeah. And Dev? Well, he thinks she's going to be OK. Let's hope she is. Yeah. Oh, hi, Shelley. How's Sunita? She's gone for a kip. She's getting ever so tired, you know. Mind you, I did walk the Heimlich's off her. <laughs> Still got my shoes. Well, I'm sure she needs all the rest she can get at the moment. I know. God love the bones of her. I'm not sure I'd be so uh, brave if I was faced with a life-threatening illness. What are you on about, Wayne? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I'm finding it so hard. Focus, Maya. Focus. You may as well know, Kieran. Sunita needs all the friends she can get at the moment. What? Come through to the back. <laughs> oh, what's you? Hiya. I just want some beans or something. You can't be eating beans in your condition. You should be eating grilled fish. Steam veg, fresh fruit. Now you go up to your flat, put your feet up, and I'll come up and cook your dinner in a bit, right? I just fancy beans on toast, actually. No. Sunita, don't be cross with Shelley, but she told Kieran he was desperate to come and see you. Sunita, where are you? I can't believe it. I didn't want people knowing. Look, the only reason they told me is because they care about you like I do. Well, uh, it was Shelley already. Do you? Listen, it's times like this you learn who your mates are, and I am one of your mates, Sunita. I was going to go up and make her some tea. What, are you going to let this idiot in your kitchen? What, are you going to cook her? Beef biryani? No, you racist idiot. I'm going to grill a bream. So you want salmonella on top of everything else? All I want is beans on flipping toast. Well, nobody flips toast like me. Come on. And if you're really lucky, I'll grate you some cheese in. I could get used to this. Tell you what, that Kieran can be really great sometimes, can't he? When you understand a word he says. <laughs> Well, looks like you're just going to have to uh, work up a sweat in the kitchen for me. <laughs> Open a bottle of New World White and I might even consider rescheduling our wedding. Yeah? Mm. You're mad to know that. <laughs> I've been madder. This is true. Mm. Mm. Right. Keys, purse, brains. At least let me give you a, a lift. The boss gives me thinking time. I'll see you later, then. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Not so fast, Pareg. Whatever happens, you know you've got us. I know. Not that anything's going to happen, because everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Don't know about that. At least this way I'll find out one way or another. Is it a bad aneurysm or a very bad aneurysm? It's an everything's going to be OK aneurysm. It better had be. Not sure I can face surgery. Hey, shh. It might not come to that. Well, there's only one way of finding out. At least let me pick you up after the scan. I'll, uh, listen, I'll keep the mobile on. They are going to operate. Well, it's not surgery, not technically. Who's looking after the shop? Oh, I don't care about the shop now. What did the doctor say exactly? That it's treatable, which is kind of good news. Right. What else? And do you want all the gory details? No, I'd rather do the uh, crossword in the Gazette. Tell me. Calm down, Dev. They'll put a wire in my groin, which feeds through an artery up into my brain, where it'll coil round the weakened blood vessels, i.e. the aneurysm, and strengthen them. You'll be under general anaesthetic? But I'd be. So, how do you feel? To know, relieved mainly, I suppose. Relieved to know that there's something they can do. Not everyone's as lucky. Guess not. I thought they were going to wring their hands and tell me it was hopeless. That I'd live out the rest of my days with a time bomb in my head. At least this way, I have a fighting chance of a normal life. Hey, 
Why don't you go and uh, put your head down for a few hours, just rest up. And what, and stare at the ceiling, pondering my own mortality? It's Anita. Dev, it's done. you that it's needs you. to lie down. You've been holding the fort for weeks on end. He won't listen. I keep telling him he's going to keel over with exhaustion. Which is why you two are going on holiday. We are. Brilliant! <laughs> Hey, why don't you go and pack your knife for the hospital and we'll pack her Factor 15 and a couple of trashy novels for the beach? I don't think so. Well, tough, cos I'm not taking no for an answer. No, you've got to admit you could do with a rest, Dev. Look, my treatment is two weeks away. In the meantime, I intend to live as normal a life as possible. Fine. And we'll help you. Dev, I'll be in hospital for a week. I could be out of action for a fortnight. You can mollycoddle me all you want, then. Right now, I need you to treat me like a normal person. Sounds fair enough to me. Let me look after the shop, please. I am not having this discussion. I would rather worry about the sell-bys on the bread and milk than my own expiry date. <sighs> please, go on holiday. Give me a break. It's important to listen and to respect Sunita's feelings, you know? Yeah, but this brave face routine, I don't know, it doesn't ring true. You've got to pace yourself. She's really going to need us post-operation. Mm -hmm. And we'll be there for her, rested and chilled. Mm. You're right. Mm. No change there, then. <laughs> Where are we going, anyway? You choose. Mm. Yeah, but take it easy on the museums, art galleries, buildings of historical interest. I'm not sure my brain can hack it at the moment. Sold to the woman on the sun lounger. Oh, white sand, 70 degrees in the shade. Who in their right mind needs culture? Mm. I'm going to get Todd to help her out. Good idea. Yeah, and uh, I'll get Rack on standby from the Anko shops just in case she finds it too much. I'm sure she'll be fine, darling. She's made of stern stuff. Yeah. And I'll lay it on the line with Todd, right? The minute Sunita shows any sign of strain, anything untowards, we're on the first flight back home. Yeah? Of course. Will you take for this pie, or do I have to go round to Fred Elliott's? I haven't finished serving her yet. Hiya! Welcome back. It's great to see you. I give in. So, Nita, how are you? Um, mm -hmm. Dev, I'm fine, honestly. I'm fine, and you? Yeah, great. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was wonderful. Just the two of us. Yeah, it was very relaxing. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. Missed the place. He didn't. I did. <laughs> I didn't. That's like a withdrawal symptoms. On the beach? You yeah. don't believe him. Do you? Yeah, it was fantastic. No. Yeah. He didn't think about any of his shops all the time we were away. I made sure of that. But did he think about Sunita? Didn't mention her name? Not even once? Not even once. Mm. Well, of course I've sold things. No problems. Counts are fine. Stock's fine. I wasn't missed. You were missed? You too. Very much. It's nice of you to say so. <coughs> I bought you a present. Oh. I know you like this one. Dev, it's really expensive. You're worth it. You're worth it. And it's not just for me. It's from the both of us, yeah? Duty free. Still expensive. We paid twice the price. Couldn't have gone on holiday without your help. Thanks, Dev. Thanks very much. Hello. It's Sunday. It's barely noon. And you're up. I've been up for hours. About half an hour, anyway. How can you sleep so long? I just can't do it myself. Oh, late night loving. Better than sleeping pills. Mug of hot chocolate works for me. I could get a choice. All right, well, well, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, you've forgotten, haven't you? Today is our wedding day. I'm sorry? Well, if we'd gone to the Caribbean as planned, a couple of hours from now, we would have been strolling through the surf hand in hand as husband and wife. And so... <laughs> so you're celebrating the fact that we're not married? Well, I might not have a proper husband, but I am certainly not compromising on Shanita. Oh. <laughs> so, Nita, are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm just... shh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? I'm going to the flat, just got to lie down. Just mind the shop, OK? <sighs> Chicken soup. No, thanks. Come on, no, it's my mother's a cure for everything. Broken heart, chicken soup, broken leg, maybe a plaster, definitely soup. Did she ever try it on something in your head trying to kill you? <sighs> Don't think that way, Sunita. You will get better. Wishing for something doesn't mean it's going to happen, Dev. Uh, it's not you? wishing. The doctors are confident. The doctors sound confident. It's not them with this thing in the red that... I think I'm going to be all right. And suddenly I'm convinced I'm going to die any second. 
You're fine. Now, take it easy. Oh, what, and read a magazine or plan a holiday? Yeah, well, why not? Because I lie here and I can hear what's going on downstairs. I can hear Sally Webster coming in full of big ideas and fish fingers for tea. I used to smile at that. Now I'd give anything to be Sally Webster. You'd be married to Kevin. I wouldn't be alone. Okay. Lying here in the dark, wondering if I fall asleep, whether I'm going to wake up or not. Nobody notices until they can't get milk or bread or fish fingers. I'd note it. You should be in the Caribbean now, getting married, not making chicken soup for me. I want to let you in on a secret. I hate reggae. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get to thinking all sorts of things lying here. Playing the what if game. Ah, what if? Now, what if you went along with his arranged marriage? You had a couple of kids by now, works for a lot of people. What if mm. Kieran hadn't kept his key? And what if he hadn't interrupted us when you were proposing to me? I'd still be bringing you soup and telling you to drink it because it's good for you. Uh, Maya, she'd be wanting her break, so... Drink the soup. What's tickling you? Oh, you if you play cards, right? Oh, so smooth. Ooh. To think that right at this minute we could have been celebrating our honeymoon. How's Sunita? Yeah, she's okay. I think he upsets her when she suddenly feels dreadful without any kind of warning. Mm. I wonder if it's an emotional thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like today, there I was talking about our wedding. Oh, listen, I hope you're not suggesting she's doing this on purpose. No, I meant it might have made her think about Kieran, how she was going to marry him. Anyway, I've got our non-wedding planned. Mm. The flat has been turned into a honeymoon suite where mm. we will spend whatever's left of today celebrating our non-marriage. <laughs> <laughs> a customer might walk in. The flat can wait. I can't. See? It takes more than a till roll to work with a lawyer of my calibre. I need a favour. Oh, is that all the reaction I get? Tricky, you said. Temperamental. Impossible, as I recall. You made it sound like this machine could only be operated by a brain surgeon. Sensitively put when you're standing in for a woman waiting for a brain operation, babe. What's the favour? And a product recall. Need to check it's been taken off all the shelves in all the shops. Oh, can't you go? Yeah, sure, if you want to stay in, fill in for Sunita and do all the dull paperwork. Well, she's definitely not coming in, then. Come on. You saw what she was like yesterday. Well, yeah, I just thought we stayed off the subject of our wedding, you know. <sighs> Maya, that's not what caused Anita to uh -uh. feel over. I'm but... kidding, honestly. I'm as worried about her as you are. People joke about the things they're nervous about, don't they? Yeah. Just the pickle thing. <clears throat> Pickles. Yeah, Something to do with lids, so I'll phone around, just make sure it's been done. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. Thank you. Take as long as you need. You sure post is okay? I could start again. It's fine. I said it was. Come on. He's obviously done something to upset you. He hasn't. It's me. Are we talking about eggs here? We got talking yesterday. Well, I did. About the past. How things might have been different. Between you and him. I wish I hadn't said out, really. It's just with him being around here all the time, looking after me. What did he say? Uh, he was dead nice about it. Like he's been nice ever since I've been ill. But he could get away fast enough. Sensitive? He is being sensitive and generous and patient. But it's just making me feel lonelier. I get these glimpses of how things might have been. And then he rushes home to his fiance. Oh, Sunita. It's just me feeling sorry for myself, that's all. It's got to me. Look, if he's getting you down, maybe he's not the right person to be around you at the moment. At least till after this hospital thingy. Do you want to have a word with him? Eggs, Alan. <laughs> Shall I put it here? Oh. 
Oh, well, I better get back to the shop unless there's anything else at all. Okay. You know where I am. Hmm? Look, I know it sounds harsh, but you've got other friends. Friends that make you feel positive, not down. The last thing you need is someone making you feel down. You need all your strength, and maybe you're just not strong enough for him at the moment. Well, he hasn't dragged you out of your sick bed, has he? No. I wanted to work. Oh. So Dev snuck off, did he? No, I told him to go. I'm fine here, apart from this till roll. Oh, do you want to hang with it? No, it's temperamental. I told Dev to leave it. It's too delicate for him. He's clumsy. His fingers are like shovels. Oh, my shovel-fingered fiancé. I gather you've been given leave of absence. Yeah, I just thought I'd come and check up on things, you know. I told you. I'm fine. Well, so let's go and play, then. Go on. OK. Ooh, do you get your hands from your father's side or your mother's? What? Well, only your grandmother's hands were obviously quite delicate. If her ring's anything to go by, it fits quite snugly. Oh. <laughs> and maybe that's just my fat fingers. What are you t talking about? Oh, well, Sunita was saying how only people with delicate hands can manage your temperamental till roll. Yeah, you managed it okay this morning? Apparently not. Come on, Dev, let's start off in the rovers and see how the mood takes us. Mind I don't crush your hand. So you've left Sunita alone in the shop? Yeah, yeah, she didn't want me there. Well, at least she's looking after herself at last. You mean it? Fussing after her. Now, I know it's making you feel better, but it's making her feel a lot worse. Worse, right, but she said that, has she? Look, Dev, I know you mean well, but you've got to realise that you're behaving like the boyfriend she hasn't got. Listen, I just want to look after her, that's all. I want to make things easier. Well, give her some space, eh? There are other people who can look after her. I can do it. For who? For her or for you? Because it might be making you feel better, but she's finding your pity hard to deal with. Pity? What about you? She thinks this is... Shall I go away again? <laughs> um, I was just talking about Sunita. Oh, she's seen Perk here in the shop. <clears throat> Why didn't she? We were having a laugh at two of us when you came in. It's an inspiration, really. An inspiration? Well, you know, it makes you think. You never know when something might happen. So you should just seize the moment, do the things you always wanted to do, and not wait. So I think we should start by getting married as soon as possible, don't you think? Deb? Yeah, you know, we'll talk. Anita? I upset her, didn't I? Maya, did she say anything? What? I assumed it was you that did the till roll. Why did I have to say anything about your fingers? No, it doesn't matter. Well, it does if I offended her. No, never mind Maya. She must think I'm the right girl. Oh, please, Anita, I just need to talk. Now, the things you were saying yesterday about Kieran, how things might have been different if oh, he no, hadn't... Oh, no, let's talk about that. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should. I should. Dev. I feel stupid enough as it is. It's not fair. You're with Maya now. Oh, please, just listen to me. I find it hard to hear you saying those things and knowing how things are. It's, it's not enough. Well, it is. I was feeling down, that's all. No. I don't mean just for you. I mean for me. You know, I cook you things. You know, I drive you places. We... Go to appointments, I sit in the shop, we, we, we talk, we joke, but nothing's enough. You shouldn't have to be you responsible know, When I go for... somewhere, all I want to be is, is, is back here. You <laughs> know, I sit there. And I know you're only in the flat above me and, 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 and I'm still missing you. You know, I try and pinpoint exactly where you are, listen to where you're moving around the flat and... Wishing I was up there, not down here. I need you. Sunita, I love you. What about Maya? What about her? Well, have you said anything to her? No, I just had to come here. I had to talk to you. Do you feel better now? 
I need to know how you feel. My head hurts. I feel sick. No, I mean emotionally, about me. You've known how I felt, how I feel. When me and Kieran split up, you knew what I wanted. But you were with Maya. Sure, this is different. So if I wasn't good enough without the aneurysm, how come I'm good enough now? No, I know, but... What if this thing kills yeah, me? but it won't. After the operation, you're you gonna You make be... it sound as though I'm having a tooth out. The doctors say lots of shoulds, ifs, probablys. They don't say you will live definitely, no question. They can't, can they? Because they don't know for sure. Yeah, but they're optimistic. So you want me to spend what could be my last days and hours in a state? You can't watching think that you with way. another woman when you say you love me, or watching you wreck somebody else's life for me. Sunita. Do you love her? Sunita, I Dev. Tell me the truth. Do you love Maya? Yes, I but... I want you to go, please, now. I do love you. Go. If I had to give Danny regular elbows in the ribs, I'd have never got him down the aisle. No. Joking, ain't you? You're yeah. wasting it for them. They've already got you. In my case, I was already up the duff. Well, the more reason to marry you. All the more reason to know I'm going nowhere. Uh -huh. So, what do you think I should do? Wear him down. He'll marry you to shut you up. There, you see? Sat waiting for you. Remember, wear him down. Where on earth have you been? I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, lucky for you, Frankie rescued me and I happen to have had a nice time. <sighs> Otherwise... You would have been cowering in the darkest corner of the doghouse. <laughs> That's Frankie. An authority on foreign travel, thanks to a fortnight temping in a travel agent, says mention the H word and holiday prices rocket. H word. Honeymoon. Which is why I'm still favouring getting married abroad. What is now? Well, what we spend on the honeymoon, we save on not having to buy champagne and buffet for our strange and unpredictable friends and family. I said not now. I mean, you're obsessed. Every conversation. This isn't a relationship. This is a marriage planning meeting. Fine. You draw up a list of the topics I am allowed to talk about. Then next time you actually stay with me in the pub, I can stick to your rules. Maya. Uh... I'm getting a cab. Don't even think about coming home until you're ready to apologize. Chocolates. The flowers you've got work to do. Yes. I have done nothing but be supportive to you today. Helping in the shop, traipsing all round Manchester, rescuing jars of pickles from an unsuspecting public. I know. So do you mind telling me what I did to deserve the way you cheated me? Nothing. Well then, do you mind telling me why I copped it for your foul mood? Maya, I just... Uh... Oh, don't you start. We get enough funny turns from your employees. I'm getting a headache, that's all. There. I want you in a state I can shout at. I love you. I really do. I do. I love you. Well, that's just great, isn't it? You're missing out the whole process. The justifications? Then you groveling, then a full and frank apology, and assuming you perform well in those sections, me reluctantly forgiving you, only then do we get on to how much we love each other. I just thought I'd let you know, that's all. OK. Well, I'll compromise. I'll let you off the grovel if you do justice to the apology. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh. Well, I suppose cutting out the middle row gives us time for an early night. I've got to, uh, I need to nip back. <laughs> well, nip back? What was the point in coming home? I just wanted to see you, that's all. <sighs> Look, what can be so urgent that it won't wait until tomorrow? No, I just need to, uh, catch Steve. You know, I've caused a few problems, but I need to sort them out, but it won't take long. I just, they can't wait, and, uh, <sighs> forgive me. We've already done the apology. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah. Well, drive safely.
she's in bits back there. Alone, probably sobbing from what you've said to her. Everything I said to Sunita was the truth. I love her. Well, the last thing she's feeling is loved. Emotionally battered, yeah. Confused, yeah. Used, you yeah. Tell me what I should have done. You know what she's facing. Do you think you've increased her chances of getting through this by making her more depressed? Isn't her best chance to know that she's loved completely? That I need her in the world to be with me? You sat there this afternoon and you talked weddings with your fiancé. No, I talked weddings. Oh, I'm sorry to split hairs. Don't you think you should have mentioned that you're about to march over to Tanita and tell her you wanted her instead? Yeah, no, it's not that easy, Shay. Oh, no, it's never a good time, is it? Well, if it's sympathy you're after, pal, you've come to the wrong girl. I've been married to Mr Cake and Eat It, remember? It's different. It's the same. Just cos you can't decide what to do with your life. Oh, all right, then, I'll drag everybody else's life down with me. Am I cheating on anyone? Yes. No. No. No, I wouldn't do that. What Peter did was easy. It was lie. Cheat. Not face the fact that if he truly cared about anyone, then he would have to have made a choice. Hurt someone badly in order to give them respect, but I am not like him. Because I can't pretend this isn't happening, but I can't deny what I'm feeling. So what are you doing here? Why do you go home and tell your fiance all this? <laughs> she's there now. She's waiting for me, and you know? she's thinking about our future. If you were really serious <laughs> about Sunita, you'd be telling Maya that you and her don't have one. <laughs> Why, well, you think I'm not serious? It's obvious. I made Maya trust me. I made her. When all she's ever done is been let down, you want me to find hurting her easy? I have loved her. I do love her. But to be with Sunita, I have to take a, a, a sledgehammer to what we've got and destroy it, and then to sit there and watch her while she sits and wonders what she did wrong, which is nothing. And I know she's not going to believe that. Sunita is what I want. Yeah. But am I not allowed to hurt over what I have to do to be with her? Hi. For you. Tell me. Hmm. Did you actually come to bed last night? Yeah, of course I did. There's no of course about it, Dev. Um, I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, well, late. So how was the big head-to-head -head with Steve? Hmm? Well, the problem you had that was so pressing you'd rather solve it than be in bed with me. Well, it had to be dealt with. And now don't get defensive. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Dev. I don't... Oh. Begrudge your role as master of the universe, quite the opposite. But um, having stamped your authority on your business partner, is it too much to hope that you might have some of that alpha male drive left for me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Prove it. My, my, listen, I've got to get to work. Well, I can wait till afterwards. Tell Sunita you're taking me away from all this. Take me out to dinner somewhere expensive and then. Uh, whatever you feel like, but I warn you. Soft centers are not an option. There's the two peas. Sunita? Um, are you all right? I've got a call to make. Who have you got to call? Dev. Well, I can get a message to Dev. What's so urgent? I wanted to tell him first. But you might as well be the first to know. Know what? I made a decision. It's not been easy. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. What's going on? I'm leaving. So where are you going to go? I don't know. Well, you must have some kind of plan. No, not really. Well, how long are you going for? You won't see me again. There's a list of things we're low on by the till. Well, if you're sure. Oh, don't worry about Dev. I'll let him know. 
Janice Battersby was 15p short on a fact she said she'd drop round. You're being very brave. I am not brave. I'm tired, Maya, that's all. I'm tired of being ill and not being able to hear myself think. I'm tired of being miserable because that's what staying around here makes me feel sick and tired. I had no idea. Well, you have now. I'd rather be where no one knows me than somewhere where everybody seems to think they do. We all need to escape from time to time. I don't know how long I've got. But there's no way I'm going to spend it where I know I can't be happy. Oh, look, I do understand how hard this is. No, you don't. People see two Asian girls and they think we've got such a lot in common. But look at us. You could have gone anywhere and done anything. <sighs> We're from different worlds. Well, maybe. Somehow we seem to have ended up in the same one. A pokey flat above a backstreet shop. Oh, a fiancé and a failed career. Doesn't add up to much. Oh, well, better look next life there, Maya. If you're sure this is what your heart's telling you... Look, can you please go? I've got a lot to do. Of course. How's it going? Mm -hmm. I should have rung to let you know when you're picking up these reject jars cluttering up the place. Dev, Sunita's gone. Not another bad turn? Oh, no, she's, she's absolutely fine. Oh, so what do you mean? She's, she's gone? She's gone where? Packed her bags. She's left? I think she thought she was leaving you in the lurch, so uh, I said I'd let you know. Yeah, so what the hell didn't you tell me? Well, you said yourself you were busy. Maya, it's no, not... I didn't have time to call you. My priority was Sunita. I told her to stop and calm herself down, but she wasn't hearing me. So she's gone? She seems convinced it's what she needs, and who knows? Has she gone? Did I deserve that, Dev? I'm sorry. Just answer me. Look, whatever it is this news has done to you, do you have to take it out on me? God. I thought you'd gone. I'm leaving now. No, you can't. I think it's best for everyone. If you go now, you're going to ruin your life as well as mine. Dev! I've tried so hard not to do this to you. I love Sunita. I've loved her for years. I've got to be with her. What? I'd give anything not to make you hurt like this. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Well, just this morning you said you loved yeah, me. Yeah, but I do. I do. Get off. I asked you. You promised me there was nothing going on. I'm sorry. Dev, please. No, and this has got nothing to do with your illness. Now, I've missed my chance to be with you, and I've spent every single day regretting it ever since. Do you know what it's felt like to see you every day and think we may never be together again? How can you do this after everything you promised me? Everything you said? Maya, I meant every... <sighs> Go the hell! Now, I did everything I could to stop this from happening! I'm sorry. I never asked for this. Well, what else could I do? You expect me to come this far and risk everything, never see you again. It came down to you or her. So you destroy her on my doorstep? With me as your weapon? You've never listened to anything I've said. Sunita, I did... Get out. Get out. Look, I know you're up there, so will you pick up the phone, please? Look, I'm sorry about yesterday, but if you please just let me explain. Keep on ringing till I speak to you. I love you. Keep on ringing till I speak to you.
That will come for my stuff. Sure. Thought you'd be out with my replacement. <laughs> oh, sorry, isn't that what she is? I'll leave you again with that. So it had been going on behind my back. Nothing's been going on, that's the truth. Oh, well, you can make up for lost time now, can't you? Where'd you stay last night? Why were you worried? You don't just stop caring. Oh, how touching. Reminds me of that film about the U-boat where they have a little weep for their victims as they watch them drown. I'm sorry I had to happen like oh, this. spare me the can't. You knew exactly what you no, were doing. I didn't plan any of you this. You knew my trust had been broken in the past. Yeah, I know, You swore I... on your honour that you would never let me down. What was it you said when I was worried that you'd leave? It isn't going to happen. Talk's cheap, isn't it, Dev? You're just a lousy little liar like the rest of them. I don't blame you for being like this. Uh, what I did was, uh, it was unforgivable. You can spare me the self-pity as well. I just didn't know that I had these feelings for her. Oh, you've had them since I met you. No. But you only went out with me on the rebound from her. Even Kieran could see that. You might be a chancer with a miles of a goat, but at least you know where you are with him. But look, you know, I asked you to marry me because I wanted you more than anything. But then she fell ill and you realised what she meant to you. It was the most painful thing I've ever had to do. Whereas I will brush it off in no time. No, you've got to believe me. Believe you? Did you hear what you just said to me? I'm just trying to explain. I will never believe you again as long as I live. No, I meant everything I ever said to you. You never stopped loving her. That's not true. I just wish you'd sorted out your feelings before you took me for a ride. I'm really, I'm really, really sorry. You keep saying that. Well, you used to sit to me now. We were going to get married. This time yesterday, I had everything. Now I've got nothing. Look at me. I'm trying to be brave, but I can't. Hey, drink that. Why was she going? Because I told her I loved her. She couldn't handle it. She was running away. When did you tell her that? Earlier this week. There was no affair. You must believe that. And now? She's staying, I suppose. I don't know what she's doing. And she threw me out soon after you'd gone. She, she was furious. I can't believe this is happening. We were so happy. So it might not work out between the two of you. It's not looking good. Well, we could always try again. If she doesn't want you. I couldn't do that. Well, you said you still cared. Yeah, but not like that. Not anymore. But why? Because too much has happened. Well, I'll forgive you. No, you won't. No, I will. No. Dev, please. I don't know how I'm going to get over this. Say I'll give it another go. I'll do anything, please. But I love Samantha. Oh, she doesn't want you. It still won't work between me and you. Oh, no, I'm begging you, Dev. Please don't leave me. No, I'll never survive without you. I think you should get on with your packing. No. no I'll come back late. You've got plenty of time. Stay with me, please. Stay with me. I'm more sorry than you'll ever know. How dare you? I'm sorry about this. I've been ringing you all day. I don't want to see you. Tanita, we need to talk. I'm sorry about yesterday. Where's Maya? She's around the flat. Packing her things. I told her to go. Just like that? No. No, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Now do you believe that I love you? Am I supposed to be impressed or something? No, but I think that you should show me you some... You promised her everything. Yeah, I know. And then you just dump her. Did you see the look on her face? So what was your over? I stayed with her? Would well, that have made you happy to see me married to somebody else? Because if that's the truth, then I'm wasting my time here.
But you came on to me after you finished with Kieran. I know, but... Uh... You knew I was seeing Maya. Yeah. So if I'd have dumped her then, that would have been OK, would it? You weren't engaged then. I'm not engaged now. And look how that happened. So you don't love me anymore, is that it? Come on, Sanita, I need to know where I stand. Forget Maya. Forget all the mess yesterday. Forget this mad idea that I only want you because I feel sorry for you. Do you love me or not? We might only have a short time to give us. So how do you want to spend it? On your own? Punishing us both because of her or with someone who loves you so much that he would die for you? We've got to go for this. Now. Together. Squeeze every last drop from however long we've got to tell me that you love me. I have never stopped loving you. So you'll be with me? Looks like it. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> I'm gonna make you the happiest woman alive, do you know that? Is that a promise? It's a promise.